Hello, everyone, and welcome to AI the Somnium Files. Hi, Yay. guys, we're back for this weird, Hello. weird, weird thing. This incredibly <laughs> odd game. Thank you so much for joining I'm us today. Um, this is our second stream of AI the Somnium Files. Uh, and for those who missed it last time, it is an odd game uh, made by- It's really weird. Yeah, it's made by Kataru Uchikoshi, the same person that made uh, the Zero Escape series. Uh, and it stars Kaname Date, who is like a brain cop. And he's trying to solve a murder. Oh, our pervy little brain cop. He's a pervy little brain <laughs> cop. Who's everyone giving up for America's favorite pervy little brain cop? And, and all the all the brain cops completely step over everyone's boundaries, and it's great. Everybody, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good stuff. Um, but we're so excited to get to share um more of this game with you. Yeah. So, Can we do a yeah, little catch up on, on what happened last time for, <clears throat> of course, the audience and not me at all. Of course, you the definitely didn't. The guy's name didn't... was Konami. <laughs> His name was Konami. Well done. And I didn't Good even look job. that up before the stream. You absolutely. I just remembered in that moment. You and I wanted you to be proud of me. You brilliant <laughs> lad. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. So uh, I'm so proud. As as we mentioned, uh, well, it looks like they're kind of doing a interesting. Oh, they get, oh. Here we go. Oh, we okay. get like a recap. I don't think I realized they did this because I played it on the Switch and just never turned it off. Um, as I do with most Switch games. Um, <laughs> yes, so here we has are. Has the Switch ever been turned off by anyone? No, or has it just never died? never intentionally. <laughs> um, so, as I mentioned, Konami Date is a brain cop uh, and uh, he was called to investigate a murder of uh, a woman named Shoko. She was found tied to a horse, like a carousel, uh, at an abandoned theme park. And upon investigation, we discovered that her left eye had been removed um, sometime around her death. Uh, her daughter is this young lady named Mizuki. Um, and Mizuki had, has been taken in by Date as his roommate slash ward, I guess. Um, and she was found at the scene of the murder with um, an ice pick. And we are currently trying to ask her questions about her involvement in the case. Uh, this is Boss, she's hot. Uh, and she, she is, she's so hot. She's hot. I was we literally about to, Gina, agree. I was so close to being like, you know, she's hot. I beat you to it, sir. Oh, <laughs> this is Bosh, she's hot. This is Pewter, yeah, he looks like he's in the wrong game. Um, and this is our totally un, like, unsanctified mind hack machine uh <laughs> and it's terrible but uh we use it to enter the somnium state which is a way to basically investigate people's dreams in order to make connections and find information and yeah. no for all you new viewers we are not making this up no nope. this hey. is what this <laughs> game actually is i've got news this is the basic stuff this is the, <laughs> the super simple stuff just you wait <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I yeah, and also if you, if anyone new is watching, Gina has played this game before. Jake has played the first forty-five minutes We're of this way game, past and that. I have not yeah. played it. <laughs> so so <laughs> you have some crazy uncharted territory now. Yeah. So both Jake and Allison are are in completely untreaded waters after the the first. Uh, Gina, it is still fully alarming and jarring to me whenever I hear Jake. I know. Every time. I know. I get, I get when it happens, but I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I try and then I regret it. And that's my full read on that situation. I actually appreciate the trying. I always like to hear one Jake and then switch over. I'm like, she does remember my name. <laughs> I go back and forth. I give you kind of equal, like, clout, Short and Jake. So it's very 50-50 for me. Well, it's kind of um, the back and forth of both relationships. It's like, oh, it's Gina's brother, but then we've also hung out. So it's like, ah, shit, he's a human. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't call you Short because I don't think you're a human. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't lie to them. <laughs> I, I don't like that that interpretation. <laughs> That's oh, the new short one gaming lore, and you can't get away from it. <laughs> oh God, that makes me very thank sad. You, thank you, chocolate lover. Thank you, chocolate lover, for the uh, uh, the 
subscri- uh, subscription. Well, that makes Yay! me happy. That makes up for the oh, fact that my, my brother implied that I don't treat him like a person. <laughs> <laughs> we got confetti and everything. Um, no. Oh, we got confetti yeah. though, Gina, so we're okay now, right? That's true. Um, Whenever okay. we have problems, we throw a party. <laughs> Um, Inspector Clark, to answer your question, we are the exact same height. Exactly the same height. No, 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 no. He's got half an I inch. I do have on about me, half. And I will be. I was gonna give it to you because you got the hair. It. You got the big hair, and with your hair, it's we're the same height. I do, and whenever I come home with a shave, like a close haircut, I always see it. I'm like, now I'm looking up. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, but don't tell the industry that because I definitely claim I'm 5'10 on my resume <laughs> and that's called lying. <laughs> Nobody will tell it. Everybody, you're all sworn to secrecy. Nobody say a word. You can't tell them. You can't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys want to play a game? Hey, yeah, Waffleonia, we seem to be having some problem with Nightbot. Could you turn it off, <laughs> please? We're trying what? to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, all right. Yeah. Let we... us move forward. <laughs> Just, yeah. Let us do it. Hey, can I pop this cherry? Dude! Boom! <laughs> oh, we started oh, on. Short surrogate daughter friend roommate person. <laughs> you gross boy? You're a gross boy. <laughs> Get your dick away! This instant. Jesus Christ. What a Welcome way. to the stream, oh, ladies that. and gents. You know, sometimes people say it, that we're very, like, innocent and fun. And... Oh, my God. Well, it's great. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Oh, throw him in the garbage! Who, <laughs> me or? <laughs> no, not you! You sounded quite I mean, proud sometimes of that you. <laughs> oh my god. Like thanks, Ivo. Uh, no thanks. It's not the same as the first time. <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> I did. I clicked on the chair and not on Mizuki. I just want to make it known. <laughs> Oh my god, it was a chair pun. It was, it chair. was even worse was than I thought. Pun. God. Jeez. Uh, all right, uh, all right, all right. There he is. <laughs> uh, woof. All right, I guess we're done. Hey, boss. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. That's all oh, the suspects. Yeah, okay. How would I know? I still don't have enough information. <laughs> what? You're, Continue you're, your you're investigation, not... special agent. I'm sorry. How would I know? And then she <laughs> stares him the fuck down. <laughs> the game lagged. You're a boss. I tried to progress it, but the game lagged on that. Like, boss is, was overriding my attempt to push this forward. See, I've become oh numb to that. God. I've been playing Pathologic 2 all day, and everything lags <sighs> in that game, so. <laughs> that is true. It also crashes at the most inopportune times. I'm Always. so glad you're playing it. I'm so mad you're not selling it well. <laughs> it's it's a painful meat grinder of emotion, but you do come out happy you played it. Um, uh, okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, what else can we ask? About her? what I saw in Somnium. Uh, yeah. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. <laughs> Good of for you, Of course Peter. you did, Pewter. <laughs> anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Uh, about Mizuki's muteness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. Oh, you did. Yeah, very good for you. Instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. So, um, did we mention that we had a big decision at the end of last stream oh, that we did? That, no, we that didn't. Seems oh, to have good point. Yeah. So, yeah. at the very end of last stream, we dropped in to uh, Mizuki's subconscious uh, in the Somnium, and we were trying to cure her muteness and also investigate what she remembered from the scene of the crime. And during that, we hit sort of a branch. Uh, two routes lay before us. We could either investigate some balloons or some pictures. I swear it does sort of have a logical foundation behind it. <laughs> um, and this branches the game pretty widely. Actually, let me see if they'll let me. Uh, mm, how do I, how do I, how do I? 
Uh, that's how. Oh, um, log? So, no, I wanted to show this. So when I said hey. that this is a zero escape game, I wasn't lying. It's a zero escape game. It's like classic. Oh, zero yeah, yeah. So we're here. Wow. Uh, this is Mizuki Somnium, uh, and from our choice in Mizuki Somnium, we were thrown into this route while this route it lays undiscovered. So that's something for us. To Out keep of in curiosity, mind. just so I'm just so I'm understanding the lore and world building of the game, can we already go back to that place, or yeah. is that just locked for right now? Yeah, we can go back. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, there is oh, there is no lore or world building behind that at the moment, but it it like yes at any point if we want to drop back we can. Okay, um, all right, interesting. That yeah, Allison, your your brain was going to the same place as mine of like that's a little at least at this point different than Zero Escapey. But... Uh, it's not different yeah. from VLR though. VLR, you can do it whenever you want. Pretty much. Really. Yeah, oh. you can you can back out of where you are. We'll we'll lose our progress over here. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't. I forgot that you could just go to scenes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, my only other uh comment about this game, um, just because there's probably questions of like, oh, are we gonna get all the routes or like all endings? I would argue this game doesn't have multiple endings. Um, and you'll see what I mean as we play through. There's really only one ending. Um, but there's different but, but routes, guess, uh, but but there's there's like a true ending that exactly that all those. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. so yeah, we're, we're actually... just gonna play the game. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. I was going to ask, so it's basically like there's one end, but there's multiple routes to get there. Yeah. Essentially? Yeah. yeah. It's more, okay. in that, it's way more like VLR than it is like 999. 999 has pretty clear cut endings. VLR kind of does, but like ultimately you're all going towards one place. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can, because you can play 999 or VLR and get an ending and then like be like, all right, well, that was the game and then quit and then not go back and play the other. And that endings. would be a foolish way of doing it. I know a lot of <laughs> yeah, people that have it. done it don't though, do who are like, I That's beat the game and you're like, oh, okay. I mean, you did. I mean, though. okay if you want to <laughs> suck about it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, everyone's a child to their own experience. They paid their money. They can use it how they exactly. wish. Exactly. It's their, you know, <laughs> they can choose how they engage with the game, even if I don't agree with it, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Right. There was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was, it was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I Ooh. couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. Uh, yeah, I so get it. So you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column. Yeah. I kind of figured that happened. Yeah. It just yeah. makes sense. And like, I kind of get that too. Like, if if. I had saw like a knife in my mother. I'd be like, I'm gonna get that knife out. I mean, like, be like no, yeah, I would grab it and yeah, well. Well, and I mean, also, I'm not saying that's twelve year old but she yeah, also like -year -old she not only did she find her her mom with an ice pick in her face, but but she also was bailed on by um, Ota, so she had no one to like. Oh yeah, yeah Ota is in this game. Yeah. No. <laughs> Speaking of shitty dudes. <laughs> yeah, you think Dante is bad. <laughs> Wait till I see this guy. <laughs> One more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? Ooh. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Wash Wait, so... Moments like this. So the the ice pick was in her eye, but it was just like in her skull. Yeah. Like it wasn't in any eye. Yep. Oh, oh, so maybe she like, just had an eye socket. So it's not like they, when Mizuki pulled out socket. the the ice pick, there was an eye attached. It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe the the ice pick was like it pried the eye out, and then they stabbed it back in to finish the job. Maybe. I don't know. Unclear. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fascinating. She okay. To ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Okay. And whoever set up that scene, yeah, I think we, we concluded that the murder was not done at that scene and they didn't leave any prints at that scene either. Like they, they killed her, popped her eye out, set her up there 
stuck the pick in her eye and left no evidence that they did any of that there. That seems to be right? the case because there wasn't, even though the victim was covered in blood, there wasn't blood on the horse. Um, so yes, that, that appears to be the case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, how does Iba appear in Somnium, Peter? Yeah. Do we see her body? Or do they see her body? Yeah. Oh. There she, there she goes. Iba is look at that. To your brain They're like, wow, Iba. Like, did she choose to look that way? Did Peter design her? Um, Unclear. Date didn't design her, definitely. So it's either a design yeah, of Iba's Yeah, because like surprised when she's wiggling. <laughs> when, she, will... when she be wiggling. <laughs> her best quality is like... her wiggles. <laughs> Hi, my name is Iva, and my best quality is I wiggle. <laughs> uh, to put it more simply, Iva is a part of your brain. <laughs> she is just continuing. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject. She's going for a jog. Part of Iva's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Iva's functions are transferred into Samium. So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> what? It'd be nice. Don't call dumb. Hey. <laughs> okay, but it does make sense. She does just like they seem like different people. Yeah, she does seem goofier when she's when she's in the yeah. Somnium. She world. does. Yeah. Her her little her, her Somnium outfit kind of matches elements of Pewter's outfit too, so I can see how they are like I don't know similar or you know tied to each other. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, a <laughs> it even if Iba created her own avatar, you have to imagine that Peter created the character creator. Right? Like... Yeah, that's valid. Yeah, that's, yeah, valid. that's true. Okay. G gave her the tools to I think we're about herself. to learn yeah. this, actually. Hey, Pewter, when we yeah. were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? Oh! I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, there we go. Well, that was my taste. Go. I know it really answered that question right. for us. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> I am not broken. Perhaps Iba <laughs> admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? A shrimp. <laughs> A sexy shrimp. <laughs> a sexy shrimp. <laughs> I mean, I it's the strong a aesthetic. I, could, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In a normal That's dream, funny. the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Okay. Uh, about that figure we saw. That figure. Oh, yeah. No, oh, that. <laughs> I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Date? Mm -hmm. That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. You little sinker. <laughs> Thank you for the exposition, It Pure. sounds like stinker, like, oh, you little sinker. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you a sinker? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the little things Peter, that make my heart. What do you think the culprit <laughs> is? Oh, Y'all, am I a sexy shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you just said that with no framework or context around it. I understand that chat has quietly been discussing but the I pros and cons of sexy I hadn't animals, looked at but... chat either, and I too was like, are you, Alice, or do you want to I be? just <laughs> love that you said that out of nowhere. <laughs> you can be whatever you want. 
lot of the Allison. <laughs> I realize that sounds like a total non sequitur if you're not looking well, at what Especially you're when right I'm now. I'm going back and editing the Necrobarista stuff and I'm like <laughs> In the future, nobody's going to know that you didn't have that thought on your own, Allison. And the answer is yes, of course, you're a sexy shrimp. You're a sexy little shrimp, you little sinker. <laughs> Bring it home! <laughs> Sorry, Victor. <laughs> Woo. Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm giddy today. Guys, we're not that far into this. <laughs> No, we're really not. It's, again, 20 minutes in <laughs> already. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? Okay, Peter. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey. I really liked his laughing mouth flaps. Wah, 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 wah. the noise it sounded like it would make. <laughs> <laughs> Summarize for anyway, me, Peter. I get the... I'm oh, sorry. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Ooh. Hey, Victor, for real, can also, you please disable uh, Nightbot? I don't, I don't know what you did, but it's not working. So please, yeah. can you please turn it off? I apologize, chat. We what <laughs> we've been trying to. I I don't it's know. I mean, it's a moderation tool, but I don't know. <laughs> We, we we are we tried setting up Nightbot as like a little mod tool and it's like it's just going crazy. <laughs> Nightbot is so, true chaos. Oh it is neutral chaos. It's <laughs> out here causing as much <laughs> havoc as possible. It is if equal can, in its deletion. It is it is a cruel <laughs> and and ruthless. I'm sorry. I can't run the game and do this at the same time. <laughs> Okay, no if, if new we, rule. Nobody gets to install anything without me. <laughs> no Sorry, mod. I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> I didn't even know there were mods, Gina. When I returned to the scene, see, I see it immediately. I saw this video. <laughs> but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I'm reading. I'm keeping up. I brought Mizuki along to help bed it down. Somewhere around here, right? <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. New okay. stream, new Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Over in by the, the path. Okay. There would have been a nice paved path here. It's covered in a bush and weeds now. I can still make out the trail heading back. The figure went this way. Hey, Mizuki, are you cold? What do you care? You never cared yeah. about me ever, and I liked it that Whoa. way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or a cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying right. about me, okay? <laughs> Holy hell. Okay. So Holy hell. Okay. I was like, I can tell she's lying. I see it in your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I was just about to say. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom Mm. Okay. Uh, what's wrong? I mean, yeah, what's her wrong? mom died, but you know. Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Okay. Mizuki is looking behind the bush. I guess I should check it out. Oh, there was another. Okay. That's fine. Iba, <clears throat> what's past here? This leads to the subway. A subway? It has, of course, closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Uh, I guess I should... like oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I can't really. So it's like. Some... Oh, I... sorry. Does the entire track run underground? Go ahead. Oh yeah, I was just say so. It's basically just all overgrown now because people don't use the subway in this area. Well, they also right? can't come to this area. This is within the contamination zone. Well, um, right, right. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So nobody's been okay. in here for like a decade, except mm -hmm. obviously people have because some uh, somebody right to because people here. don't. Yeah. Right. Well, well that's interesting. It sounds it. a little bit like there's this, um, it's not a music park, but it kind of was, but there's like, I was telling you about this, Gina, the old abandoned zoo that's in the outskirts of Detroit. Yeah. It's just been sitting there for like two decades now because it's not owned by anyone anymore. And it's just mm. sitting there and it's crazy overgrown and looks like a safari now. It's cool though, because it is so visibly weird. still a zoo. Like you can see yeah. from the structures and the way things are la laid out, like you can imagine the zoo superimposed over that place. Which is really fascinating, but also you can see like the life that has existed in it after yeah. as well when it was just like open property. And then I don't know, it's just, it's very weird seeing like the way nature kind of takes over when it's given the opportunity to, mm -hmm. when like land is forgiven. It's just, I, I, or forgotten, sorry. It's just such a weird, I've been thinking about it a lot since I saw that zoo. I, and I love the pictures you yeah. took there. It just looked really remarkable. That's so mm. neat. There's a there's a SeaWorld in Ohio that has become that as well. SeaWorld Aurora. Um, because it just like, you know, it didn't do well and then they closed it down like in the early two thousands and it's just like an overgrown SeaWorld <laughs> that that oh is gosh. like condemned. You can like sneak into it, but it's um like technically you're not supposed to be there, but it's really fascinating to me. I just find like and that's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Abandoned yeah. buildings and land are so cool. I feel like everyone has that little phase where they're like, oh, that's cool. And I just, I don't know. There's something just so interesting about like, there's a history there, but also is there even a future there? Like really interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> no, the track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually <laughs> no. rises to ground level. <laughs> is there a future there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not. Stop asking me. <laughs> At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. Short. <laughs> a railroad crossing. <laughs> oh, I was so excited to prove myself. Railroad crossing. Oh. <laughs> Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night, a black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's My god, father, this motherfucker. <laughs> this guy keeps appearing and giving us his little like blonde hair smile and I don't like him. His asymmetrical like him. little bob cut. Um yeah, yeah but no. but that's that's Mizuki's dad. So that's bad news. Oh, yeah. No, it's been bad news from the start. <laughs> it's always the husband. Ooh, that track. Nighttime <laughs> driving <laughs> scene. <laughs> there we go. So let me get this hey. straight. Oh, my God. This music goes off. drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station, and carried Mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh. in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, you could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Dad mm. didn't do okay. it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju, and you can help me find him. That's got, that's a very Rompa like horn riff there. Yeah, <laughs> that's <Absolutely. is. laughs> yeah. Oh, Okay. These um, games have do you wanna, good music, do you wanna, though. God. I know, right? It does. Do you want to ask about the suspicious figure? I do indeed. Yeah. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Was it Why? other hot guy? I don't know. You mean the dark-haired oh. guy that that either murdered yeah, or shot that woman? You know, yeah, hot guy murder guy. Yep, that guy. Everyone, everyone's favorite hot guy murder guy. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. 
He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very Damn. unusual. So, but that, that means that Mizuki isn't so estranged from her father that she doesn't go spend time at Limnusgate where he works. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she doesn't live and with him. And that's why she... She doesn't live with him, but also, like, her entire life seems to be these people who work at Limnusgate every day. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, it seems like a weird... Um, it seems weird, yeah. That they know yeah. each other, but he wouldn't visit her in the hospital. I mean, also, he might be into some shit right now, so... Mm -hmm. I know that's another situation. Um, I mean, we can follow up on that. When was the last time you spoke with your dad? We have yeah, another yeah, prompt there. That's yeah. a good idea. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You try calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Um, you look like you mm. want to say something. Yeah. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I'd never want to put cuffs on him. Hmm. I would never want Mizuki to see that. Anyway. Renju just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. Uh, about that Nile message. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. <laughs> My God. He seems <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking Date. <laughs> bad personality. It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. <laughs> Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Damn. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. I'm hearing the word yeah. Daddy so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's 12, though, so yeah, it's I know, her I know, I dad. Know. <laughs> it's her father. <laughs> He's kind of a weird I'm, dude, but like... I'm just around asshole friends, and the word daddy <laughs> has become a trigger for me. <laughs> it's okay. We all have our weir our own weird triggers. I was set off by... The Allison, you had a fire alarm go off in your house like three minutes before the stream started, oh, yeah. and that's my heart... How are you feeling? Wheeling. I'm fine. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Alarm. <laughs> My what? palms are still sweating from that, and it's been 30 minutes. Oh, God. I'm still like... <laughs> well, I like, heard the fire alarm. Allison, like, something, like, fell over because you ran to go deal with it, and, like, two minutes later, I hear this from Gina. Oh my god! It was, so... <laughs> oh, no. it was like, this crazy buzz. Oh. <laughs> I don't like them. They only ever go off at 3 a.m. and then they don't stop. <laughs> anyway, like, anyway, Why? just saying we all we all have our own things. If yours is people saying "daddy" short, <laughs> <laughs> who am I to say? <laughs> simultaneously, I'm laughing at at the fact that that is my trigger, and also the fact that you just said "daddy." <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Get the fuck out of right, here. That's it. I'm going to leave Short One Gaming so I don't destroy our reputation. <laughs> it's been nice being with you guys. It's all right. I'm, I'm not even going to give the context for this, but I did say the phrase furry climax earlier this week, so I can't talk. Uh, I say that said once said a week, it. though, Gina. <laughs> you said it right now. <laughs> yeah, it's better out of context, I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right all right all right all right this sad child talking with her pseudo father yeah. here we go oh, no i oh forgot god. yeah sorry about your mom he never said anything like that to me ever that he was counting on me i had to go but you invited ota along bloom park is in the middle of the kawasaki district there are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Uh, about that now message. Tell me more. But it mm -hmm. couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. 
It's a lot to assume, Mizuki. Killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Hmm. But it's her it's her dad hmm. and it's her mom. Like, I get Yeah. yeah. Date, I absolutely get it. Oh. The boss. Connected. oh, hello, boss. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. He doesn't? Mm -hmm. No, not one we can mm -hmm. corroborate. I mean, that's a bit damning. By yeah. the way, thank you, Wow thank Sunny. You. <laughs> yes, I just saw that too. Thank you for the description. <laughs> You're the best. Uh, why should you really release daddy a lot on this so channel? Rangers I hope you like it. <laughs> 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 what if you immediately see sure. Wow Sunny unsubscribe? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. God. Oh my god. Uh, did you pop your cherry? God. <laughs> no. Short, I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> I don't care that you're across the country. <laughs> reach, reach really far. Oh reach up in. You, you're not even. You're not in any capacity anywhere right now, except like through this chat that we have, and we're still gonna figure out a way to ban you. <laughs> I'm just existing in the ether. <laughs> I'm logged into the account, Allison. You can't do anything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh I'm my sorry, God. I'll calm down. <laughs> then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Uh, any idea where Renju is? No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. <sighs> where could he be? Uh, about Renju's questioning. He didn't give us any mm -hmm. new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. Uh, and about Renju's alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time, but that means no one can back up his story. Great. Awesome. Great. <laughs> we only have his word. <laughs> Great. I don't have a cell phone. Never cared for them. But I can connect to any network in range. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. So is he seeing that in his eye? Yeah, he he can FaceTime with one eye while he's driving with the other one, which is not he, that safe. That doesn't seem safe. Yep. <laughs> he, has, he essentially has super Google Glass that is integrated into his brain and in his actual eyeball. Yes, that is I like, that. that's all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. You just don't see what I see, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Does he hang up if he Where blinks? Where the hell did Renju go? <laughs> He's like winking at people. Oh, that like, would be even <laughs> weirder if, <laughs> if, like, he doesn't blink with that eye until he hangs up. So he's blinking with one eye while the other is just staring. <laughs> I guess, would he not have to blink because it probably wouldn't dry out? Like, it wouldn't hurt him. So there would be no, like... He would probably do it just to match up with his other eye, yeah, but I think you know, that wouldn't be like a, from a, muscle a fully memory, natural response. Yeah. Or like maybe he has asymmetrical blinking and he blinks one eye at a time, like a fucking like chameleon or something, where he's like, <laughs> Oh, I hate that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, okay. Uh, so we're no longer going uh, to Renju's house. Okay. Uh, Wait, what? Hmm. What? What? Um, Sunpoke, or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh maid excellent. Cafe. This guy. Six point two miles northwest. I don't like Killer Daddy. Yeah. he's not my man. <laughs> no, Let's make no aspect Let's of make Killer me. Daddy has really made us <laughs> has endeared him to us. <laughs> Let's make the game horny. Oh, good. It's not gonna happen too. <laughs> You know, this game's pretty good, but uh, I just don't think it's horny enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I swear to God, Gina. The game crashed! Oh, oh, oh. What? Did the car crash? Oh the car no! Crashed. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> and they were never heard from again. Oh, Can no! they hear us? Oh yeah, no. I mean, the the stream didn't crash, just the game. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh. you want to bring it up? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right. I can take this opportunity. Okay. <laughs> you can take this opportunity to to do what? <laughs> what, are, what are you? What are you gonna Pray take tell. this opportunity to do, brother of mine? Oh my god. I was gonna play us a little music if that had taken a while, oh. but I kind of wanted to just leave it open. <laughs> like. It was funny if I said that and then <laughs> completely this opportunity. <laughs> did like I never said that. <laughs> oh my god, guys, what a oh, thing. Man, that'll give me just enough yeah, time to some water. Thank you very much for the reminder. Oh, <laughs> good idea. Mm. <laughs> gotta stay hydrated. Like the Are you gonna take us far back? Do you think we gotta save? I have that? no idea. We're gonna find out. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll probably have or to do, do the we have car to one more time. Yeah. I, I can, yeah, I'll, I'll spam through it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so let me get this. Okay. I like the theory that Nightbot crashed the game. Yeah, like, Nightbot is, like, is out for revenge. <laughs> how dare you, Nightbot. It's like, how dare you shut me down? Do you know who I am? <laughs> hey, Mizzou, per no. Get out of here. Get out of here. We already asked we all go, this. Go, 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 go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We're flying. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do more. Look, no, it's like. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. Look. Well, I will take this time to take a sip of water and stay hydrated. Daddy. 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 And he didn't no. call him daddy, Dante. <laughs> call him daddy. daddy. Why not? Daddy, some... daddy, somebody. Uh, <laughs> daddy. And <laughs> daddy. I hate I this. You. I hate I'm this. I'm hearing so daddy much. so often. I hate daddy. this daddy. so Connect. much. I blame you oh, entirely, oh, short. <laughs> This is entirely no, Blame like Wilson and Griffin and all of them. I blame them too. This goes right to the top. Can you please this text Wilson the and, and tell Wilson that I blame him fully? I'll let him know we're all hanging out and saying daddy a lot. He'll he'll come immediately. <laughs> oh god. We're almost through. We're almost there. Why did the cursor go over there? That was weird. That was weird. For the rest of this stream, you're gonna have to deal with me every now and then going, mm, daddy. And I'm, I don't love that. I don't think anyone likes that. All right, you know. You too. No! <laughs> Inspector Clark, how dare you! At absolute worst, we're the so your fans are the you guys soggy lads. Be the daddy? No! The soggy daddy. No! The soggy daddy. No! No! I found it. Approximately six It's time to end this. It is time. Hello, Soggy to... Daddy. No! <laughs> we are done. It is over. The bit has passed. Oh <laughs> I'm shaking God. it out back and shooting it. Well, I got news for y'all. We're, we're in Akihabara Akihaba now at a maid cafe. This can only go better. <laughs> oh no, is he dead? Uh -oh. Dead killer daddy? Uh -oh. Oh, oh shit! No! Oh no! no. She's oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> and again, crash right before this. <gasps> Holy shit! Ah oh, fuck! Well. Oh, that is a that is a turn. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, now don't you feel some terrible about making here. all your daddy jokes? Yes, I do. I've one hundred percent. But I was gonna feel terrible about that Ranger. either way. Oh my god! Holy Fuck. shit! Fuck! Yeah, oh. this child did not deserve this. Oh my god. Oh, that music, it's glitching. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Fuck. Holy oh. hell. Where did they get the hooks? Oh, oh my god. They bought them from a fish market. I mean... This that this poor maid child. cafe has a has a nautical theme. Oh no! no. Well, he did that to himself then. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god! Oh fucking! Oh that poor child! Oh Fuck. my gosh! Rest in peace, Daddy. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. 
I don't have it in me to sleep right now. That's right. They're really good friends. Yeah. Uh... They're, they're good friends to the point where Iva is watching his daughter. Like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, all right, joking right. aside, clearly they they are close. Fuck. About Rinju. Um. Yeah. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone. But Rinju was murdered. No way this is a suicide. And the fact that his no. left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? Wow. That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. <sighs> there is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over oh, the is news. this the event? These murders have this gone is the viral, event so to speak. From yeah, the, the related the six from years, years ago. ago. Yeah, that boss so was like you don't need to know about it. Exactly. Yeah. Boss was going to say that this was a copycat killer, but then it decided to keep that from us. But clearly, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. Yeah. And the like, I guess six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. And, like, mm -hmm. I feel like Date would have gotten this information at some point anyway, just from, like, telling Aiba to, like, you know, like, scrub the internet for more information on this. Yeah, and, he could yeah, just, like, like, Google it. He would have, I, he would have found out, mm -hmm. I feel like. Also, yeah, I feel like, how, how did he not know this? I don't know. I think he didn't, Interesting. he didn't ask Aiba, hmm. and Aiba didn't take the initiative. Because a lot of times Aiba's kind of going ahead of him, um, but she didn't. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Six years ago. Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. The incident six years Dante. ago. Huh? Yeah. We have a name uh, oh. for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. Before you yeah. proceed, I mean, Dante also does have a memory disorder. Uh, he's revealed as oh, well. Yeah. I don't know just, like, how mentioned that far once. back. Yeah, six years. I don't know how. It was six years. Is it? Yeah. That how far back he can remember? Yeah, he said I haven't remember. I'm assuming maybe, I mean, we're about to find out, but I'm assuming maybe Date got, like, pegged by the serial killer who gouged his eye out and tried to kill him, but he survived it. So now we got this Aiba, but Look. he also doesn't remember things because brain damage. This is my guess. And and oh, she's sort of then. helping with that. I mean, yeah, I mean, that would make yeah. sense. That's a good guess. I like that. Yeah. To distinguish um, it from this okay. new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. I like that one girl's outfit the in the yellow. Were yeah. All at different stages. Mm, yeah. It's a good outfit. She's got style. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women, and... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball, pulled out posthumously. Hmm. Which is different. But, okay. This is... A because these are left. Yeah. Left eyes are missing. And also Shoko's yeah. eye was removed while she was still alive. Yes. Yeah. So different. Yeah. Similar similar so appearance, sense. but different actual actions. Right. It makes sense that they would refer to this as copycat killings, um, since it's not matching up exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Cyclops, you think? Yeah. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something uh. like that. He signed Oof. the statement under the name Cyclops, hence the name the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclops she did were say it like that. Okay. I was. <laughs> Allison. <laughs> I was Allison. so good too. I had like nine daddy quips laid out and I didn't say any of them. <laughs> so listen, tisk, I haven't had tisk, my moment tisk. yet. And I <laughs> Allison's like, it's my pervy moment to shine. This is a mature exactly kind of and cake. thoughtful stream. We would never, we would never make a Uranus joke. <laughs> <laughs> we were all thinking it. Someone had to say it. Is so... that is that the actual pronunciation? Uh, Uranus? I believe so. I, yeah, I pronounce it Uranus. Yeah. Don't. Uranus. Don't. Just to avoid it. <laughs> Wapalonia. <laughs> so the Very good, Wapalonia. No. Very good. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Uh, was, was the Cyclops captured? Mm, no. no, in six no. years we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No. But you're right, the MO is a little different. Yeah. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed, but Shoko and Renju were missing their left eye. Mm hmm. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Bullshit, but you can't. It's a national I'm, like, secret. Take me off the case, then. A like, national I be... secret? Sure, yeah. but if everyone in this room knows, like, take the case yourself, assholes. Like, clearly I need to know this. But Pewter, so I mean, they're, the right... they're not cops. I mean, they are, but Pewter's not a detective. He's he's a lab tech. I guess so. Yeah. But, but like, also I don't know. But Date's the detective. Like, shouldn't he be able to, He's like, the one that should really know, yeah. He should be pushing them for the information. Like, I don't know. I just, like, why would they keep him in the dark on... on I mean, maybe if we continue, we'll find out, but, like... Yeah, but why would they keep him in the dark and keep him on the case, is my problem. It's, like, yeah. it's one yeah. thing to say, it's a national secret, you're not gonna find out... We cannot tell you. And also, maybe take another one, champ. Like, maybe you're too close to this one or shit like that. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, it's weird. It's just yeah. weird how Date is involved in this. Like, he's, he's super involved. It's a very personal case to him. But he also has no I... idea what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. No, I mean, you're right. It, it seems to be a definite conflict of interest. It, it also is tricky because, like, we know there's other Somniums. I forget what they're called. Somnium cops. But, um, but Date's the one that- Sinkers? Yeah, Sinkers. Thank you. Yeah. But Date's the one they put on the case. So, we don't know yeah. why. Huh. Okay. Fascinating. How can it be a yeah, national agree. secret? Date, please forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Well, that uh, I think you're just wrong. I think you're assuming things. Thank you, Date. Hey, Already had a using yeah. Ibas while you were talking. Google it. And this is, I love Bing this it. too. This is what I meant about Iba's like initiative. She was like, oh, I already did that. <laughs> I was already on it. Trust me. <laughs> I didn't want to be kept in the dark either. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories, all lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. What happened to Mizuki? Yeah. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Her mother oh. and her father. I hope she'll be okay. That's horrific. Maybe That's you so should horrific. take Date off this case so that he can grieve his friend and also take care of his new daughter. And who also he actually, new yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. And like, yeah, and clearly you're not gonna, you're not willing to give him all the information he needs for this case anyway. Yeah. Just like, get him out of here. Let him go. Get him out of here. Be, get him out. Be dead now. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> I'm a daddy now. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I said no before anything happened. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Can I just say, I adore both of you, and I'm very glad that I get to spend this time. <laughs> it means a lot to me. Thank you, guys. I still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. Okay. Hey, Pewter. All right. Young to say. What about Pewter? Any thoughts on the culprit? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko, too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing <gasps> your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. 
Only a joke. I'm too okay, tired hot take. Jokes right now, Peter. I know fucking Peter. escape games, and I know that nonsense, and Date absolutely is the killer. I don't know how yet, but absolutely, without a doubt in my mind, Date did it. Okay. He did it. We're he taking, did it. We're taking He's early bets. Early bets. I'm going to write down <laughs> short equals Date is the killer. All right. He's putting 20 down on Date. All right. <laughs> Allison, any thoughts? Any theories? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And I mean, it would be the same answer as short because I would say if Dante's the killer, there's got to be some like some time nonsense going on here. Oh, or, or there's some sort of like, and again, forgive the phrase, actual mind hacking happening <laughs> where like someone, maybe Dante, is making them like, you know, murder themselves. Like, well, yo, is controlling them to do it. Yeah, or, I don't know. Or, I don't, I don't know. Like, they're being very specific that the killer now is not the killer back then, and Date doesn't remember shit from back then. So maybe he was reset and, like, he was it back then, but he's not it now. And there's, like, a copycat going on right now. Mm. Some shit mm. like that. Because, like, it's such oh. a random extra thing that they're like, oh, my God, yeah, he also doesn't remember anything from conveniently six years ago. And we're not really going to talk about that, but we're going to mention it so that when we mention it later, we'll have mentioned it before. And so maybe, <laughs> so maybe, maybe Date is the original Cyclops and they maybe have... the original one? Yeah, and they have him here working as a detective because, like, oh, old, he forgot. And they're keeping him on a short leash because they can keep him here. Um, and he's basically had his, like, his his memory's been wiped. And yeah, like, maybe yeah. it's like a new trial for the program. Like, what, like, can we change who someone is if we take away their memories or reprogram them or mm -hmm. some shit like that? Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah. I don't know, I don't, so know, like, I, don't know, I don't know. The other answer is that Ota could have killed everyone. Also possible. That's also, These are my I, I hate <laughs> Discord only because I'm doing my, my typical broad gesture. Oh, who could possibly I, say? Oh, and it's not being conveyed be? in, in noise at all. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. I can picture it. I'd like yeah. to redefine all of my theories. It's Oda's mom. Okay. <laughs> A bold stance. I'm crossing I never out. Her. Date is the killer. I'm replacing it with Oda's mom is the killer, and we're going with that. <laughs> I, Gina, I would say my answer is Date is not this killer. He was the previous killer. All right. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's strong too. theories. That's I love them. Answer. I love them. Yeah. Oh, Kaz uh, the controller. Did you have the same theory? Nope. I'm just reading in the chat. Mm -hmm. I just looked down to it. All right, I'm gonna keep progressing. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay, we're all, yeah, you can. We're all, we're all hypothesis. You I, lost your eyes six years ago, correct? A oh, is yes, Peter gonna do it? This theory we then. just had. <laughs> I think so. I lost is he gonna? Is he gonna and and Peter's the like, idea oh, were you it? the killer? <laughs> he lost his eye and his memories. I was transplanted into I your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. You seem troubled, Peter. Troubled. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Okay. Why are you here? Who's anyway? his voice actor? <laughs> Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't. Who's mean his it like voice that. actor? I know that voice actor. I think. I was here first. You do. Um, I'm blanking I... on his name. He... Sorry. Go ahead. He kind of. No, I was gonna say. Uh, did we determine that he was um uh, uh Santa's voice actor? Was that what we said last time? Um, yep. same guy that, yep. yeah, Apparently same guy that played Sean Chiplock. Thank you very much. Yay. Nice. Okay, cool. I was just Chiplock. talking to the boss about Renju's murder. He kind of sounds like Matt Mercer just a little bit. A little bit. Just a tiny In bit. In the same yeah. way that Ota's voice actor, um, sounds a little bit like Gary Lowenthal, but, but he's not. Yeah. Yes. Well, Peter sounds like Matt Mercer in Persona 5. Ah. Uh, That's all we have for now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Specifically. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found. Sunfish pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Understood. All right, Sunfish pocket. Now, I'm really, I'm really settling into this theory now. No, I'm thinking about it. I'm, yeah, I'm digging it. But also, uh, I, theories have been, if, if I know how, I know this isn't a Zero Escape game, but it basically is a Zero Escape game. And if I know how this game works. Accelerating 2% slower than usual. Sorry, I just want to let, I have a finish line. She's like, done. You, can have a, you can have a theory that is like partially right, 
like you can kind of be onto something and then it, something comes out of left field and you're like oh but you you thought it was this but it was actually this mm -hmm. so i feel like i'm gonna be pr like proven wrong but oh, or like there's gonna always... be a third layer yeah oh there's always like a fifth layer My, it's always like the, it the removes it's like now i know and then like four more times you're like no nah! I know. My absolute yeah. favorite thing is letting people like make guesses about zero escape games and this is a zero escape game because like it's it's totally safe. No one's ever going to get the answer. You're not going to get yeah, it. Like... You get it. You, you could get level 2 answer. Yeah. But there's actually level 3 4 5 6 answer after yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. No, all completely. of them have to do with sacred space magic. So <laughs> I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Yeah, I mean, maybe look at your rearview mirror, buddy. Back seat. Yep. You are a bl you are a bad detective. <laughs> bad detective. <laughs> Zuki. Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid. Listen, my she eye drives the car. Good voice so. She's so good. Hey, short. <laughs> Fuck it! Mizuki climbed up to the front and sat in the passenger seat. We have a good time in our car. Yeah, we <laughs> do. What are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you Mizuki. back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's no. daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. Yeah. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. All right. Uh, do you want to catch the suspect? That's a weird question. No, it's more yeah. like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager face. <laughs> Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, thinking that. <laughs> I was back smoking weed and yelling at adults when I was seven years old. <laughs> now I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> settle down into my early twenties and get a good career. <laughs> I, re I respect her. I, music is nothing but my respect. She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious Ooh. to me. <laughs> <laughs> about uh, Renju? About Renju? Yeah. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Uh, what's Shoko's secret? Yeah. Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters <laughs> there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. Hmm. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. Okay, uh... Aww. How are you doing? Yeah. So I can still uh, talk uh. this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological oh. wounds have been healed by the sink. Hmm. How did you I wonder get... if that kind of... Hmm? Oh, what was that? No, go ahead. I was just reading the, the text of one of the questions. Oh, gotcha. I was gonna say, like, I wonder if that, um, I don't know, if the sink actually sort of, like, gave her some mental fortitude going into this situation. Like, I don't know mm -hmm. if that's, if that could be the case or not. It's definitely possible. Like, yeah. I don't know. It also, if nothing else, I don't know, it shored nothing. up her relationship with her mom and her dad because she was, like, she was remembering that time at the, the fair and instead of being a wound, it was healed into something pleasant. Which potentially yeah, helps yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's possible. Um, what were you gonna? Yeah, that works. I just opened the door. I've been here for like ten minutes. <laughs> Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm glad you're okay. 
Yeah. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. Oh my god. Oh. Nothing. You have no tact, do you? That, that happened like today. I know. That oh. he's a yeah. <laughs> this is why no one wrong, loves you. Know. you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm trying to give, like, Dante the benefit of the doubt and say, like, well, maybe he's just, like, having a hard time coping with, I don't know, I think, with the situation. Yeah, I think he's having he's, a hard time coping. I mean, it is that uh, his friend, both of them were his friends that died. Also, I do think most of Dante's way of communicating with Mizuki is through barbs, which is not a good thing. Yeah. He's in. <laughs> no, but it, he's. It does definitely seem like this is just like their relationship. That's kind like of the they deal. can't do the cuddly good things. Like kind of when they're together, they can yell at each other and insult each other, and that's how they're like, "Cool, we're we're good. Yeah. We're getting through this together." And so he's falling back yeah. on that, except he's in a like parental position, and also yes. she's suffering <laughs> the dual loss of both of her parents. So. You yes, know. no, he's not a very good daddy. He's not the best daddy. He's a good Date. Bad daddy. <laughs> oh, no. Is he a good Date, though? Is he? <laughs> I look like he's a, a Date. He is definitely a Date. Look at, the, look at this line he just said. Uh, <laughs> I look like a single, a single father when you're around, and chicks love it. Yeah, chicks I, love yeah, I, creepy old men hanging out with a sex <laughs> Serve him! Fucking He's take key. him down, but take also him. he is your guardian. <laughs> Fuck, hey, please. Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an <laughs> old creepy pervert. <laughs> and even if you were my age, you're not my type. Weird thing to say, Dante! Gross. Ew, I don't want to know Gross. this guy. Gross. 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 She's, She's like your old. daughter. <laughs> He's not an old creepy it. pervert, he's just a creepy pervert. He's also old! <laughs> Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. How old is he? I mean, old, she's a sixth grader. It doesn't matter. No, I true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's old enough that he's friends with her parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, Date is creepy uncle. He oh my is god, look, it's got yeah, there's, there's zero. zero escape on the bulletin board. Yeah. Zero's on the bulletin oh, board. Oh, that's fun. That literally was zero. <laughs> that's amazing. That was a VLR <laughs> cover, right? Uh no, that that's was a nine 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 cover. Uh, oh nine 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 and VLR. Good to see you, sir. And this is Have you looked through the case file yet? Date, is this the oh, second oh, young so girl so you so brought into <laughs> a case? <laughs> <laughs> Dante, dude, holy shit! <sighs> Be at least a little more subtle, man. Oh my god! She's the victim's. Yes, please let us through. See, it's nautical oh, themed. You're right. It is nautical themed. Yeah. Mm, okay. That's, on my That's door. upsetting. That weird. What's weird? Somebody was knocking on my door. Oh. Huh. huh. You need to go check on it? Yeah, I'll be right back. Give me one moment. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no problem. All right. We'll hang out here for a sec. Allison, how's oh. your day been? Oh, it's been okay. <laughs> <laughs> As with every day, it's been started, a day. <laughs> I started enthusiastically. I was like, oh, it's been... <laughs> Yeah, it's been. <laughs> I understand. Hey, you got through it. Here we are now to at the end of it. I did. How and was your day, Jake? Um, I didn't. I didn't do shit today. I really woke up with a whole plan, and like I did a lot this weekend. Um, but today I played yeah. Pathologic Two for a while, and then realized that my my fragile little baby heart cannot handle Pathologic Two. <laughs> um, Maybe I tried not. Maybe not I'm back. During, I'm like, back. A Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I, I've weirdly been going through this thing where within the pandemic, I've been getting really into true crime and like, like dark stories for some reason, which I don't know what the hell the psychology is there. Cause I've been talking to other friends who are like, I can't do true crime at all right now for obvious normal human being reasons. Cause everything's sad. Yeah. I'm sort of on but that end some of reason, the like, spectrum too. I gotta no, say. That yeah. part, that makes so much more sense. But for some reason, like the kind of dark and, in 
like fucked up shit has like taken my mind off of it and so i don't know maybe i should mention no, I mean, there's, like, it to people... doris my new therapist <laughs> i mean there's people that are, are like awesome. i'm really really glad actually that's fantastic Dude. Yours is great. I, I had to sit through these two like manly men who were just so masculine and I'm like, ooh, get that away from me. <laughs> and then Doris, Doris is awesome. And, and we, had, we had a great talk the other day and I'm, I'm happy with it right now. That's awesome. I am delighted. Yeah, therapy is awesome. <laughs> um, no, all I was gonna say is that, um, that like there's people that, that are taking this time to like watch Contagion over and over and just like really kind of lean in. Um, that has not worked for me, but... <laughs> well, weirdly, I can't do that, but you could play Pathologic 2. Like, Pathologic 2 hits me right in that, like, oh, man, this makes me sick kind of thing. But, like, murder stories, I'm like, well, there was murder in the before times, too. So... That's fair, yeah. Oh, ha Stuart, have you seen I'll Be Gone in the Dark? Have you no. watched that? What is that? Oh, that's... It's good. It's an HBO... Um, like short documentary series about the Golden State Killer and about the the journalist that basically helped solve the case. I, in, I've like, heard about this. Oh, I I really really need to watch that. I've been watching the Staircase lately, um, mm -hmm. which is I another just that. true crime one. It's about this guy that that maybe killed his wife, mur, 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 but down the street from Wilson, like literally like five doors down. Whoa. Crazy. Yeah, it was before he lived there, but it's it's very close to him. So we started watching it because it's like all about Durham, which is kind of cool. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed All Be Gone in the Dark. It's like it's half about the case and half about uh, Michelle McNamara, who like basically helped solve it. And she uh, she was um, Patton Oswald's wife. Um, and oh it's my like God, it's about, her. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's partly about their relationship as well. Like that's a major aspect of of like the story behind it like it's, i've read it's a very ton about tiny. her but does she like talk at all in the interview in the movie uh she, she they um yeah they use like they they have someone read like some a lot of her writings and like that her makes journals sense because she wasn't there to yeah yeah they read she reads from like part of her book and then they have like old interviews and old audio uh of her as well cool. um so they play that they like sort of interlace all of that together plus like a lot of patton's interviews and that's so fascinating yeah, what is that on there. what can i watch that on that's on hbo max Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. God, really HBO good. Max has everything. Yeah, they're really getting it right now. Oh, they're really but, getting it in, yeah. Mm -hmm. But since we're, like, playing a, a detective murder mystery here, I thought I'd throw that one out there because I just finished it. Um, yeah, it's good. No, that's lovely. I actually, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll text you about it as I start watching it because that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to jump anyway. back into the game real quick. No, no, no you're, you're <laughs> good. Gonna... You're so good. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Welcome back, Gina. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Are we playing a game? I or... I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, you think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. <laughs> mm-hmm. But this yeah, is what I wanted. Fair. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. Oh. Oh, amazing. Um, do you remember what you saw last night? Do you want to ask her that? How could I yeah. forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. I fucking hate that we just asked that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate to, to that. no further information, just like... Yeah. Notice anything strange? Um, yeah. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Okay. Okay. Let's look around. Okay, yeah. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that were working here. What are you scared? What if they at? weren't? <laughs> they were just some <laughs> random ladies. <laughs> just like, that's Daphne. She's down the street. This is Cheryl. She's my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> These are the strong feminine presences in my life. And I wanted to give them an ode to all the good work they've done on me. <laughs> or it's like, it's all of the people that finished like the, the like the super seafood platter <laughs> in under 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and they got the picture on the wall. <laughs> Allison, that is canon now. That's All good. other <laughs> options are invalid. <laughs> These are the people who ate 22 crabs in under 30 minutes. 
and it was incredibly <laughs> impressive. <laughs> we give Free them a shrine. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Oh god, hey, you. Uh, there's also- <laughs> What's your name? Inspector. Oh, okay, you sure? What? You ready? <clears throat> I was asking for No you. way, is it- is it my main man? Oh, no! <laughs> no! Let's my no. is- <laughs> is- Oh my god, it's the <laughs> same guy. It's the <laughs> same dude. I mean, he's on these cases. <laughs> That's fair. We work together. <laughs> Kakami like killed that. everyone. That's canon. I love that that's just a little, not even an Easter egg, just a running gag, yeah. I guess. <laughs> uh oh, new theory. Kagami is the killer. <laughs> we're, oh, we're doing. Oh, we're going the, the Shin Megami I want to start route the here. official. No, fully. I want to start the official Kagami fan club. Um, everyone, send me your Kagami smut. I want it all. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. gotta be. During our break, I'm gonna look up how many Kagami fanfic. I, <laughs> Kagami rule 34. Yep. Rule. What's the no. rule? We're gonna 34. go find it. <laughs> no. Also, I agree. Uh, uh, Kagami's out here doing the right thing, social distancing and wearing his mask. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a responsible a young man. He's. I like. I like yes. this guy. <laughs> these past few days. And I thought oh. so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. <laughs> care for his well being. Kagami. <laughs> Kagami. I hate I this. This gives me anxiety. <laughs> I told you <laughs> my name like five times. <laughs> you <scared> of <laughs> I, I of course remembered his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, his name is engraved in my mind, Kagami. <laughs> the final boss <laughs> the final boss is going to be a banjo kazooie type quiz. It's gonna be like, what was that detective's name? <laughs> Kasami? Cassandra? <laughs> Kangaroo, his name is. <laughs> hey, you. Can keep going. What's your name? <laughs> Seriously, <God>. it's Kagami. <laughs> Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, don't oh spoil God. our fun. What? Kagami, no. <laughs> we no. got an achievement. Oh we got no, an achievement. It's called Your Name, and it's just got K K Kagami on it. You almost I remembered did. it incorrectly. I always called him Cassandra because I thought it was funny when you called him Cassandra. Cassandra. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Kagami, you wow. hero. I, I love show. that it came back around and Kagami was like, yeah. We're just having kid, fun, don't... kid. This is how we flirt. Step on. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, there's definitely a security camera up there. Oh. Oh. Uh, Short. That's me. <laughs> Rinji's corpse. I remember. I was there with the Kagami bit. Rinji's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, light. Uh, there was also. Wait. It's a. Oh, what? No, go ahead. Okay, it's a light that looks like a jellyfish. <laughs> Probably not a clue. <laughs> uh, there is a camera in here over on the like. Oh yeah, the corner. That. There it is. I, Iva, yeah, maybe. Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, yeah. no. All of the recordings oh. from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Hmm. What good is the cloud then? No good at all. What the fuck? Trident. <laughs> trident. Is that a it's a trident. Spear. It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no Thank indication you. that Renji was stabbed. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Beer kegs. Inspector. Chair. Counter. Counter. The corpse was strung counter? under this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Mm. 
excrete it. No have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence I makes mean... it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that usually happens when you die. Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. love that, but yeah. It must have been yeah. bodies are weird. So. <laughs> carry more than mm -hmm. 150 pounds. But it's relevant in this case because he was he was vertical, so it would have right. it would have yeah, been no around. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. What do you mean? It's true. Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate oh, okay. a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so wait, 150 so, in these each Cass, weigh... You're completely right though. If telling Mizuki like, yeah, your dad shit himself to death while he bled out. <laughs> that would be that's rough. Yeah. Why is she here? She should not be she here. She should be here. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh god. I guess you can ask these policemen back here. What's the status? Yeah. What's the status? Nothing special. <laughs> oh, All right. Okay. Thanks, policeman. Uh, Are you so, Kagami? <laughs> They're just hanging out by the posters. Um, Did you hear me? Yeah, let's see if I she knows anything. I said I'll tell you now. if I see anything. Okay. Oh, all okay. right, all right, all right. Sorry. Kitchen door. Um, kitchen? Doorway to the kitchen. Okay. Nice. The hook isn't around, Great. is it? Oh, it is, it's, but I can't click on it. Click on yeah. it. Did you look uh, at the sign? Nope. The store signboard. It says sunfish pocket. Great. Okay. Menu. Yeah. The store's menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta, 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? <laughs> he has no concept of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's like not cheap for pasta. That's an yeah. $18 pasta, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I, mean, I feel like pasta's like... always so expensive. Yeah, it's true. And also, we live on the West Coast. Everything's, Everything's expensive, expensive here. Everything's expensive like, on the West Coast. Yeah, are, eighteen dollar pasta yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? This is just like trying to get the cultural equivalence here. Are maid cafes like scandalous in the way Americans scandalize like a Hooters, or are they just a different Actually, cultural I feel like experience? It's similar to a Hooters. This is over in Akihabara, yeah. so it's designed to cater, cater more to like a, a nerd otaku culture. Um, okay. Yeah. It's like I mean, it's I, definitely I think different it's than like that, the sports bar and stuff like that. But it yeah, that, I think that's it's more like, like a Hooters thing. It's where like uh, like a lot of people are like, hmm, you like going to Hooters for the chicken wings? Okay, all right. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah okay. but I, but you're also like you're not gonna lose a job for. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right, or yeah. like a twisted yeah. kilt or something like that. Like like you can't do any. It's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's just like, a, yeah. Like a like a novelty restaurant, basically. Fashion. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, okay. I think I think Hooters is an apt like analogy like I guess American. Yeah, analogy. I think there's yeah. there's different um tones to the two. Like Yeah, and like Hooters is mm -hmm. definitely like sports bar catered, whereas like it feels like made cafes can have different sort of niches that they cater to. Mm -hmm. But there still is the idea of like it is a normal dining experience, but your women are sexualized. Well, and no, is there the is a difference. You come. Which is that oh, there is? yeah, the difference is that like you the women you can hire the women to come like eat with you. Or spin oh, or like or cater to you, it's like yeah, a light escort service yeah. as well. Yeah, like, like very like light. Not... It's not like anything beyond that happens, but it's like you can you can pick a menu of but the ladies off the wall and say like, and then, okay. yeah, I want I want mm -hmm. the cool mermaid to come and give me sodas for an hour, and then the cool mermaid okay. would be I'm like, like sure. Hey, I wouldn't want that to be a sex thing, but if I could have a cool mermaid <laughs> hang out with me and my friends for an hour, like I might pay a little extra for that. <laughs> and I... I'd be like, what's it like to be a mermaid? <laughs> I'd love to know your story tell me your tales of the sea <laughs> and i feel like there's like there's like different groups there's like some people that go alone and that's its own thing but then there's also people that go in groups and it's like a thing too so i don't know yeah mm -hmm. Fascinating. yeah okay yeah. cool I, I, thank you caddy caddy hicks analogy here so it's like a combo hooters and cat cafe but with humans yes like... <laughs> oh <laughs> i, I don't guess know i mean the whole deal with like the cat cafes though is like for most cat cafes you don't really interact with the cats um, oh, they're just kind of there to yeah. give you good energy? They're just like yeah. around. You get to like sit in a room and watch the meat and climb on things. And like, if they come to you, that's cool. But like, right. you can't like go mess with the cats. Right, um, right. I don't know why um, I decided to stress this, but like it. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess, don't fuck with cats. That was a movie, Basically, that was a film. 
you go to a cat cafe, just remember, don't don't mess with the don't cats. Don't mess with the cats. <laughs> also, okay, our quick, in high school host around. club, Mermaid AU, is our in high school host club. I'm sh pretty sure they did that. <laughs> <laughs> they did some sort of Mermaid AU. Yeah, that's their whole I deal. Mean, like, <laughs> at least one of the times they must have done that. Coriander's fine. Actually, <laughs> she's asleep. She's asleep. <gasps> Sorry, we must I'll, let... I'll stop That's yelling. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, Allison, real quick, there is a, a really, really good like three episode true crime doc called Don't Fuck With Cats that I would really recommend. I heard that's Ooh. really messed up because they mess with the cats and I don't know if I can do oh. that. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The guy's super messy. Yeah, with I don't, the cats. I don't know if it's, I can oh. do that. <laughs> it's, it's rough. The way they do it is pretty like tame as much as you can do when like, it's a dude who fucks with cats, but it, it was a good thing. It was a, it's dramatic. Is it a podcast or a show? It's a like, show. Oh, it's on Netflix. It blew oh, up. It was one okay. of those like Netflix true crime things that blows up for like a yeah couple weeks. for like a week. But it was only and three it's... episodes, and it's like it's pretty insane. I mean, it, it, it's is this not Tiger King? <laughs> I mean, that also is about a man that messes with cats. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Like, no, don't fuck with cats. That. <laughs> don't fuck with cats is about internet sleuths. It's about they they found like a video of a guy torturing a cat online, and they were like, rule number one is you don't fuck with cats. So we're gonna find this guy, and then they like go and find this guy, and he turns into a murderer. It's a whole thing, but because Whoa. they're like, but they're following him before he becomes a murderer because his very first like deviancy was fucking with cats online. So they're like looking at him and being like, this guy's gonna be a fucking problem. Like we know this guy is like, like messed up because he's doing this. So what else is he capable of? And that's, it's really fascinating. That's that's really fascinating. Yeah, I'm I'm not wild about the the fucking with the cats aspect. Oh no 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 no. Me that either. is true. But that that's that's literally sounds like this is just the jumping off point of like, what is who is this person and shit. This could be a, a warning sign that he could do something else. Yeah, yeah, and it's just kind of the the humor of the like on the dark web you can get away with anything. You can sell a spleen and people don't bat an eye, but you don't fuck with cats. Like that's the <laughs> one thing you cannot do on the dark web. Wow. If you do, we'll kill you. I'll 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 look into it. I'll consider it. I don't know if I'll watch it. Maybe I'll read about it on Wikipedia. Yeah, I read about yeah. it when it was when it it blew up and made the choice for myself that I wasn't going to watch it because eh, but I have heard it's good. Yeah. I respect that choice hugely. The thing is really exciting, mm -hmm. but also it's just a fascinating case. So, mm -hmm. all right, anyway, yeah. we're playing a video game. Yeah. <laughs> the club is located yeah. on the second floor of the building. <laughs> we use the elevator to get there. Okay. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Ooh, we have someone's got to use it to get up here. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 PM until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once at 8.55 p.m. The weight of the hmm. car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. So 310 huh. pounds. Rinju weighed 150 brought... pounds approximately. Plus some and of those, the kegs. Yeah. Those kegs all are add 50. up to like... So that would be, yeah. That would be exactly the amount. Well, I mean, excluding like that person that rode the elevator up here as well. Mm -hmm. Cause like you would need all that weight plus the person that's shuttling all of that up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Huh. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Well, let me check inside. Are we gonna have to do math? Mm -hmm. Oh, x-ray. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna have to what? do math? There's something Wait, what? It's a watch. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, is that Renji's huh. watch? I stepped on the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Huh, this okay. Is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? And how did Kagami not find it yet? A chair. <laughs> Another inspector. I hope he finds some clues. Okay. He, he missed the. Maybe we can show this to to Mizuki. Oh, oh, maybe it? not. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are no. seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date. Damn. Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. 
Okay. All right. Uh, what I mean, okay, well, yeah. This place is on the second floor. This is the elevator, right? There's nothing out the window. Okay. So we've invest investigated, okay, the elevator was 300 pounds, Renju is 150 pounds, the oil drum weighs approximately 50 pounds, so that's 200 pounds. Yeah, uh, I guess the question is like, did, what what came up the elevator? Was it the oil drums? What is, was it the kegs? Like, was it Renju plus one of those two things and a person? Like, I, I hmm, okay. So uh, like 20 pounds uh, three... and like 55 pounds when filled with water. Okay, okay, but that just means that it's a counterweight because that means that this is over 150 pounds, which means you could lift Renju with them. Oh, I see. It was just used to lift them up. Yeah, okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Huh. Okay. Uh, can you click on the poster thing? Yeah. Oh, cash register. Yeah. Uh, the register near the doorway. Yeah. Make sure the maids. Uh, Police man mm. guarding uh, the door. Yeah. What am I missing? Okay. What am I missing? I don't know. Um, Something over here. What about that? This is another box? trident. Yeah. A trident. Boxes. Okay. There's hmm. nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. What am I missing? Chair. I don't know. Clicked on it's the, just a on the chair. counter. That, is that a, is like that a, like a salt grinder? shaker? Oh. Yes, <laughs> pepper, just look at that. Pepper grinder is the actual <laughs> thing. Sorry. But we were on the same page. <laughs> Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. What time? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Zoom. Oh, Zoom. Yeah. Ah. Oh, he's remembering, uh, okay. So, uh, what, am I no. just, the face? Oh, there's a neck. Face? Oh, he got choked. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that oh, his cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. They like pumped them with Benadryl, essentially. Uh, or or, or just deep impression. That benzodiazepine. Like or yeah, or uh, depression. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Huh. Deep impressions left on Correct. Sorry. The face shows clear signs of congestion. Oh, it was Xanax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around the face and throat, both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck. Choking him in an Ugh. attempt to suffocate him. The specific not the way you want to go. Cerebral circulation mm -mm. failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Although it seems like he probably wouldn't have felt it. He was so doped up. Maybe. I guess so. But more simply, yeah. the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. And, about an and hour that means before... the eye had to come out after. Yeah, well, no, before. It had to be before because the it's eye bleeding. came out before? Yeah. That's that's the the blood is there to show that it was. Oh, the before. blood means. Well, interesting. So it must have. Yeah. So he was he he that's... was he was drugged. His eye was removed. He was strangled, and then an hour later they brought his body to this place, and then an hour after that we found his body. Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That sounds like the the right. Yeah. And all of that happened after he gave his testimony, because he he was he was interviewed by cops. And then he left, right. and then he didn't respond to any calls, and then something happened. Right, right, yeah, yeah. This is probably why he wasn't responding to any calls. Yeah. Um, it was because he was dead. Yeah, or being ki being yeah. murdered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I can. Hey, so sorry, that. being murdered right now. <laughs> Please leave a message. Saturday around eight p.m. He was strangled with okay. claws. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I. I guess. Yeah. So sedatives were detected in Rinju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. Um, okay, is there anything I'm missing? Body. The time body. of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Body again. Okay. okay. Just, but yeah. Is there anything? I don't think so. No. Okay. That's still not everything. Uh. Yeah, that's. Huh. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. This? Just staring. If you're having a hard time. You can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. 
Ra. Are you really huh. okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Uh, we're stalling a little bit. Music. Yeah. She acts deep inside. Well, yeah. yeah. Her parents just died in like one day and she saw both of their dead bodies. Like, and then the next day she's like out on the town. Did I, yeah. Am I missing something here? I don't know. Um, it doesn't look um, like it. I don't think so, but. You can't. Uh, hmm. What about the eye specifically? Oh. Uh, oh, left yeah. eye, right eye. Okay. Uh, there we go. The left eye has been pulled out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. I think we've checked. Okay, I think we you. need to. There we go. I agree. Okay. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Yeah. Okay. Any places you can think of. Uh, yeah. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you okay. want to talk to Ota? Yeah. Yeah. Ota is in here all the time. He might know something. <laughs> I'll call him. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, right. Ota's yeah, right. He dropped it in he a freaks puddle. me out. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Uh, do you want to talk to okay. Iris? Yeah. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Used to work mm. here? She's like 18. Yeah. <laughs> When is used? Uh, Mizuki tried calling Iris. But there was no answer. Oh, oh great. no. No, I don't Mama like Iris. that. No. I don't like that. Uh -uh. Have any no. idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Okay. Let's head out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me yeah. skate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. All right. Okay. Which one do you want to go to? Um. um let's do. Uh, I don't want to talk to Oda yet, so let's do anything that's not Lemniscate. Well, wait, wait, where so is Oda going to be? He's either going to be at well, Lemniscate or Matsushita Diner. We're not sure. I was going to say Golden uh, Yokocho. Yeah, I'd more love to get evidence. Wherever. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. More evidence about Renju. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So this is taking us to a place called Marble yep. you'd go to? Yes. Okay. Okay. Golden Yokocho. On a Sunday. Is this it? Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renju for the first time. Interesting. Oh. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. Well, this place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. Hmm. That is only a partial truth. <laughs> Shut up. Huh? <laughs> Let's head inside. Uh, uh, Mizuki did say that like parents were doing shady stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. Or at least her mom Where was. Where is everyone? Yeah. Her mom was the one that was involved with that, like the 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 fake company and all of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's been like this mm -hmm. for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. <laughs> Groovy. I like this. I'm, bop yeah, I'm bopping I my can... head. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway... What is, what is this radio station that gives you, like, like radio sex music? And, and then, then <laughs> is like, and now there's... Murder downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Then there's been a report that <laughs> at 6 p.m. yesterday. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> now interrupted by a moment of soft jazz. Oh, God. <laughs> a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. What? Whoa. The MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation what? is ongoing. When did oh, my God. Okay. What? So there's two murders and also a, a major car crash. Yeah, with that was, was caused by gross negligence in some way. Sure. Oh my god. All right. Um, uh, are you tired? Uh, it, no. Yeah. <laughs> nope. And what do you? I want a drink. 
I want Nothing. a stiff Just drink. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Okay. All right. Musicy, it sounds like you might be a little tired. I get that you want to be here, but also that that makes yeah. me feel like you might need a nap. <laughs> I need a nap. Dante definitely needs a nap. He's going on what 48 hours now. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, everyone needs a nap. Yeah. We should all just go take a nap. Mm -hmm. let's, <laughs> let's just, let's make siesta a thing, please. Mm -hmm. I beg. I <laughs> love that. Uh, I don't know. Life is now an yeah. infinite hey, Dante, siesta. So. <laughs> what did you and daddy used to talk about when you were here? Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Great. Don't worry. I have everything Whoa. recorded. In fact, Perfect. the conversation about you taking care <laughs> cool, of the dad. took place here at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Mm. Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Aw, thanks, Iba. Huh. That, that should... helps to have a friend in your brain yeah. that'll be like, someone believed in you, and you're yeah. gonna do great. It also, and you're like, I was oh. pretty quick to criticize Date, so it sounds like maybe he actually has done an okay job taking care of Mizuki up to this point. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also interesting, that, yeah, yeah, Renju came to Date, like, explicitly asking for him to look after Mizuki. Mm. Um, also, yeah. it gives us a timeline. Like, Mizuki's been living with Dase for a while. Years now. Mm, yeah. yeah, it sounds like four years. Which is interesting because like yeah. that, that says uh, Rinju's perspective, but Shoko only died recently, like two days ago, so. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm sorry. This is <laughs> in the music in the background. There's a so sigh like, <sighs> that happens. Yeah. It goes like, <sighs> And I'm like, every time I keep thinking that it's it's one of you guys <laughs> making that sigh. It's me being I'm like, like, I hope they know I'm I'm I want attention. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said enough. I've got to I've got to speak in the I'm past sad. few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no one's listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. All right. Uh, it's been a long time it's since we've sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor <laughs> physical condition. All right, I, but I know you read all the books. <laughs> <laughs> However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Just, I've read all the parenting books. Yeah. And those like... <laughs> it's like, when their powers combine, they make one decent parent, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Decent-ish. Decent-ish. Enough. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Mizuki, we yeah, should right. have at least one meal together. I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because, um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Really now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. You say it's beautiful. Too clean. <laughs> Too clean. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. <laughs> oh gosh. I Damn. believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> According to her, she's past that phase, so. Oh, <laughs> Having fun at school? Oh, man. It's okay. Is it? Yup. <laughs> yup. I know that conversation. Dude, we all know that friends. conversation. Yeah. yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. 
You're just very mature for your age. You think also, so? Also, can we talk about this Oda boy? I don't like him. I don't, yeah. I don't think well, yeah. He's not I a boy, he's a man. He's a man. He's, he's an he's... adult man. <laughs> How old is he again? Young. He's 20... 23. Yeah. Oda's older. He's older than me. <laughs> That's upsetting. <laughs> Gina, what if I called you and I'm like, my best friend is a 12 year old? I would. No, never mind. <laughs> I don't even want to finish this. Yeah, sentence. I was about to say. <laughs> God. They, uh, I would be unrelated. making some calls, is what my answer yeah. would be. <laughs> unrelated but related, they do a good job at making Mizuki come off as like both a preteen and a smart preteen oh like, yeah she she's characterized really well and that's like she's her clearly voice actor a kid so good. and it's also oh that's God, an incredibly yeah. difficult needle to thread because i feel like people either end up just making smart kids adults or they make them like too childish or too unrealistic and she's like she's hitting it really like smack dab on the money yeah mm -hmm. i agree like like the the character comparison that I would say, I would put her to, but say that she's a little better, is to Quark from the Yeah, yeah but totally. but she's um, so much better than Quark. And that's I actually I mean. like Quark. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I like Quark too, but I think she's characterized as a as a kid much better than Quark is. Agreed. Um, and I still even and I like that character. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, anyway, just it's it's very it's very polished, very well. Uh, characterized, mm -hmm. yeah. She's great! I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. No, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Dante, honey! Long time no see. Hi, hey, Mama. Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore. But not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. <laughs> oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mama would know, Ren. <laughs> Right, because he was here all the yeah, time. This yeah, this was this was yeah. his pro like primary mm -hmm. um, like spot. Yeah, his spot. Thank you. I was like, I was trying to think of the word. Yeah. Spot is a good one. Yeah. Crib. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. Hey, Mama, I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh, I guess crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? Go ahead, ask away. I'll help any way okay, I can. Okay, this coat, Mama. Yeah. This coat. I love that I love coat. It. <laughs> she's rocking it. Also, I cannot oh. remember whether she's holding a knife. What? It, uh, anyway, how's business, Mama? <laughs> Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes oh, down. I've been feeling that too much lately. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Oof. Well, then, everyone take that hit for a moment. Often. Yeah, right. <laughs> I could hook you up. In more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. <laughs> about Renju. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. Mm. If you say so. <laughs> Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Okay, he had gang connections too. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, shit. Gang? Yeah, real That gang really did that something to our entrance. memory, I'm assuming? I mean, we had that same reaction with Iris, too. Um, oh, we did, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, like, we're it's remembering It's clearly something. some memory stuff, yeah. yeah. But that does mean mm -hmm. that both of Mizuki's parents had, had some shady stuff going on uh, with them. Which is interesting that, that um, Rinju even had time for that because he not only had the Idol Cafe, but he also had the company, like the, the entertainment company, and then also had mob ties. There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. there's mm -hmm. a lot going on, but maybe that's how he finances all of his endeavors, mm -hmm. you know? So daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. 
I wonder if they were both involved in the same gang, but in like different ways, like to where they weren't crossing paths, but they were both like, but they were both involved. I don't yeah. know how that or, would be possible. Or they were involved or... and like, because they were married, they had a kid. Like they could have both been that's involved true. and then split ways. And yeah. crossing paths. Yeah, yeah. And then split yeah. ways. Yeah, that's true. Is Renju a regular huh. here? Yeah. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> All right. Mama, it's um, dry, yeah, it's a, it's a fish. A dried bonito fish. A dried bonito fish. <laughs> bonito fish, it's part of our daily routine. <laughs> Oh, you know me, it's nine o'clock and I'm polishing my face. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was, <laughs> it's just a No fish. idea why. <laughs> I think I'll ask her one day, but like not today. Not today. Now is not right. the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, let's see, is this your first time in a place like this? Sure. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope first not. First time at a dive bar. School. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning they... on going one day when I was old Are enough they... to drink. Hmm? Question. Like, like in America, you can't even enter a bar if you're not 21. Uh, but is that... I don't know. You don't couldn't know. bring your kid into, like, a dive bar, you know? Maybe because they know Mama, she's a yeah, little Yeah, I mean, like, I guess it. it depends because, like, Mama doesn't seem to have, like, a bouncer or anything like that. It's just her. So, yeah. uh, big old yeah, shrug. I, I, yeah, I really don't know. Mm. Um, and then or you, if you, you like, like, have a personal good relationship with her. So maybe uh -huh. it's just like, yo, let my kid in. She's like, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I, I, I don't know, because I guess it's also possible you could enter a bar, but you just can't have alcohol served to you because you're underage. Yeah. I, don't know. I have no, I have no clue. Yeah. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Um. <laughs> about Mama. Uh, about Mama. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you, and how do you fit in? <laughs> no one special. I'm a shady character. <laughs> I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like uh, an informant. That's right. Mm. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise <laughs> to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Mm. Right, this is for Ren Renju. I promise. Hmm. So it sounds like the three of them are really good friends. Yeah. Yep. I hate the um. title of this dialogue option, but if I recall, it's fine. <laughs> Are you scared okay. of Mama? Yeah. Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 64. <laughs> 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 Got to widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I like Mama. She's, I like Mama. I'm gonna be real. Mama's one Mama. of my favorite characters in this game. I think she's great. I just she's, I know Mama. Great. I know her <laughs> so so personally. <laughs> yeah, I do. I feel like I immediately know her. <laughs> she's really well. She's well written and really well uh, characterized. Like you get a good feeling for her right off the bat, which I think especially is existing in such a problematic trope. Like this is such a trope I've seen a million times before, and so many people have fucked it up. Yeah. And then like I kind of like it existing in the trope, and then being like, no, but like we're gonna write a good character in this. I, trope. And I remember when I first yeah. got here, my like. My, my my back went up because I, I remembered, um, what's her name from Persona 5? Persona 5? Yeah, yeah, and I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. not again, but Mama's actually great. So, uh, like, yeah. uh, luckily, we're not dealing with that again. Yeah, that's good, because that, that also, well, I had that thought as well. Was but the watch incident. She's I'm so sure well you characterized, like you said. Mm -hmm. Watch incident? You don't remember? Oh. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up. And we go, this watch? This watch that I have in my pocket? pocket. <laughs> that was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That's the watch! <laughs> I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it was the one I found on the oil drum at Sunfish Bucket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? I'm a detective. I'm a detective. <laughs> was I'm a watch. murderer. <laughs> wait a sec, wait a sec. We got oh, a oh, plot, oh. plot reveal. Whoa. Oh, okay, it's an anniversary what? gift, I think. Lover? Oh, your, your oh, father had I'm a sorry. lover, Mizuki. I forgot Mizuki was here. <laughs> no, uh, it's fine. Uh, divorce, but of course, like... it wasn't an affair. This was all after yeah. he was divorced. There you go, exactly. Okay, all right. Daddy had a new lover. Okay. That she didn't know about, that's hard. I know. Uh, yeah, da, 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 we're gonna do. Anything else the bar? Yeah, I haven't actually investigated on... it. I'm trying to see how many things I can click on. I can click on. Can you click on 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 Jesus in the background? I can't. Or no? I thought I could. Huh. I actually can't click on anything. It looks like. Huh. Um, that was weird. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess we could go to the bathroom. It's one of the options. Yeah. The bathroom. Yeah. This place is small. The bathrooms are outside. Take care. I think I missed my window. I think I could have investigated oh, stuff and I missed damn. my window. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no. All right. Is it important? I, it's just some characterization. Um, okay. Get I didn't. I, I thought that I was going to get that. Because everywhere else, there's been that window between you're done investigating and then you say, I want to leave. Um, yeah. For whatever yeah, yeah, reason, yeah. this time they didn't give it to me. Sorry about that. Uh, All right. Dang. Well, whatever. Got Oops. it. Who are we calling? Boss. Boss? Okay. Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along <laughs> while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. I do get everyone being like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. <laughs> she needs yeah. trauma help. Yeah. Also, she ran away from the hospital, and we are mad about yeah. it. <laughs> But instead, we took her to the scene of a crime, and then to a bar, and now we're abandoning her. <laughs> we're leaving her at we're, the bar. <laughs> we're a good father. I can't take her right. to a Yakuza day. But it does. That's actually valid. Yeah. We can only take her so far, I guess. <laughs> at least he's making a good judgment call here, being like, I, I know what I got to do next. I can't you quite gotta take go. her back. Yeah, you yeah. got to go. <laughs> Oh, you just knew where this was, huh? Oh, you just went was right this in. Asshole. You made Yakuza. a big coming here. <laughs> Go home. All right. Oh my god. Bye then. <laughs> what? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? Oh my gosh. Very easy to get you guys Damn. to act this way. Oh, oh my shit. gosh. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a goofy, goofy game. <laughs> The goofiest Sorry for the of the game. Introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? <laughs> so, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? Okay, I first off, can you not use that language around me, please? I, well, I, <laughs> our excuse before no, no, no. was that a small child was around, but I guess we're the small child at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I am the small child. I Wait, am okay. weak and innocent. Can we can we back up and appreciate the fact that Dante just walked in, said like, okay, <laughs> hey guys, and then like, I guess I'll be leaving, and then just like straight up assaulted them, knocked them the fuck out, and then barged into this Yakuza boss's office. Yeah, like, I feel like I this is gonna cause like political cool, problems. Dante is cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there, there could be no lasting repercussions from this situation here, I feel like. <laughs> Name's what? Moma, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, Moma. Moma. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do Show you me know the about art. The Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami oh. and Renju Okiura had their left eye He's just straight up asking him. Oh my god. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Cops will always be copping. <laughs> oh, oh my God! And now we're just in here. 
And we could just like investigate. Knife. <laughs> a knife. One of them was scary. This is so good. A knife would fit. That guy so nice, nicely at night. It might. It just. Oh, nope. Ah, the kind that knives nicely at night. It just might. Haha. -ha. Got bronze it. Bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Golden ball, huh? Okay. Dra hey. Oh, and then another one. Okay. All right. Crest. Oh, okay. The Kuma Courage Crest. Uh, nope, I clicked on chair. Sorry. <laughs> the chairman's chair. <laughs> they love chair jokes in this game. What? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Oh. You are the chairman. Yo, asshole. Oh. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait yeah, you want to try that again? I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Oh. Whoa, Suicide. no, he died. But MoMA did not take no. over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six there years it ago. is. <laughs> hey. There it is. But hey, that's him remembering something from like more than six years ago. That's uh, oh, that's true. He's remembering uh, Rohan. Oh, he's remembering that's right. little details. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't know nothing huh. about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko was part of an investment fraud scheme, and I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. What did you expect to happen when you walked in here? I was. <laughs> Literally about to say that. I got like, to say. sorry, I'd already clicked it. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> I got nothing. I agree. Like, what, what, what do you think was going to happen? He also didn't do like any sort of preliminary like research with Iba before getting in here either. Like, he didn't prepare. He just walked in. It was like, I know this is where the current like, gang let's is. Go. Like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you definitely. He's on another uh, level, man. Like. <laughs> Date, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Do, 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 okay. do, do. Shall we investigate yeah. with just... our eyeball? Do thermal. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. Uh, <coughs> a a cigarette that was being used, One of the I guess? Buds. Yeah, the tip is reddish. Yeah, it know. was just you. Can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. Okay. Klein. I see. Klein. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Hmm. I'm a detective. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a detective, and this is a video game. <laughs> and this is a butt print. Part of the customs. <laughs> <Yeah. story. laughs> just as I thought. But... Yo, did you know so, that your sofa's warm? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're Someone the farted kid. real hard on your sofa today. <laughs> Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. All right, I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither they of them were in was different on spots. The sofa, and neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came oh, in. Oh, he's spilling the beans! Oh, yes. <laughs> Who's that? Bad I didn't pass by anyone on my way here, and I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit, which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Who's here? Check the back. Why you want to do that? I just want to real quick say, it's so hard for me to remember how things unfold in this game, because I did the other route first, so I've absolutely no idea what happens when. Oh. <laughs> I just, I, I, all of my memory of this game is super shuffled. Just wanted to say hello so to the guest. 
You're going in like half blind a little bit. It's like then, I know right? I know where things end and I know what things happen, but not how they happen or where or when or yeah, anything like no, that. I get that feeling. Yeah. It's like yeah. I can't like tell you what actually like happens every step of the way in Zero Escape. I know it's good and I know the general idea, but it's been yeah, a while. Nah. I like that kind of idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. And we're just gonna, we're gonna search. We're just gonna poke <laughs> around. Like I'm just gonna guy, poke your wall a bunch of times and hope guy, I find something. Is a Yakuza boss. Like, he could just take us out, couldn't he? Yep. Oh, look, a man yeah. hiding. Just as I thought. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's awkwardly was saying, saying they're like, oh, <laughs> Behold a man. Like he's just half T-posing in the other room. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, no, he's, he's scratching still his smoking. Face. Oh, oh he's smoking, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Bad cop. No. no. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of a revolver in this situation. Damn it. Everyone needs an Iba. Oh my god. Yeah, right? Everyone needs an Iba. Yeah, now they're gonna fucking take him out. It's gonna happen. It seems like fucking... it's a bad plan. Yeah, this is a Dante terrible plan. No. Iba, let him know. I need your eye to swivel like... into the back of your head. Whoop. <laughs> yeah. He actually has eyes in the back of yeah. his head. I mean, it can <laughs> x-ray. Yeah, he should be able to x-ray through his own brain. Oh, it's one of these. I'm gonna be real. Oh, what is this? Dante, a is, is this, this like a mini game? <sighs> What? So, what? All right. Iba knows how to get his so attention. So real quick, here's what I'm going to say. This game has action sequences and they're <laughs> really dumb. They're incredibly <laughs> dumb. My attitude is let's do one and then I'm not even going to lie. I literally fast forwarded through every single one in this game. Every single one. Really? Yeah. Is it? Is it like a bad quick time event where you're like, Choo -choo, Allison, it's Choo -choo, like, and you're like the, dodging Allison, shit? It's the worst quick time event. Any quick I'm time so event excited. you've ever had, this one's worse. This is ideal. <laughs> oh <laughs> Just my god! Anything that starts with Dante, a porno mag at your feet. That's what? a that's an adventure what? movie I want to see. Yeah, like what? Come on! Oh my god! Look at Seriously? that porno mag, nice and quick. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking! Oh my god! Hey, what is this weapon? This game me? is so fucking weird sometimes. That's his like <laughs> special future gun he had earlier. Yeah. What? What the <laughs> hell? Where the? Fuck? Whoa, wait a minute! What? Oh what my the god! Fuck? We are indoors. What? Okay, every now and then this game loses me. <laughs> this is why I literally, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mesh with the tone of the action sequences. I just press right trigger and skip right through them. This is, you have the option to yeah, skip they the literally well, like, right. this is Yeah, they literally look at you and just say like, yeah, it's fine. You can skip through them if you want. You miss nothing. Dante, this is just like an entirely different tone than the everything the rest what? of this game has been thus yep. far. But why okay. put this why? in if you can just skip do it? it. It's for someone. Like, there is some audience that this is for. <laughs> That's really excited about whatever the hell this is. But it is not and me. You know what happened? Someone came in and they animated that. And they were like, damn, you animated that. I guess we got to put it in, but I think it's kind of dumb. Shoot. <laughs> so Shoot. I have to, I had it, to Gina. hold You're it there. You're a gamer, girl. You're a true I gamer. To, <laughs> I hold it there. What? <laughs> Wow! What? Boom. What a dumb no! No! I'm over this game. We're done. Can I? After we do this one, can I skip the rest? Iba. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's so much. They get so dumb. What even was that? Totally. Like, that I'm. I'm mad. I simulated it. So. Where's this portal mag? You idiot. Oh my god. No Dante. However. I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? Iba said, get him horny and save his life. <laughs> God. You're a grown man. 
Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit. What? This Are you hey, referring has to coward. the gun? Yeah, it, it's, it's a, it's a your small face. rifle. Ow. Oh. <laughs> this has all gone incredibly differently than as planned. <laughs> Who's this man I in his socks? You. Oh, he's a silver fox, isn't he? A different white cell. Yeah. I'm He's just gonna, gonna leave sit right back in my spot. He's gonna smoke his cigarette. This is a long hold on Date's face. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. And really, Date was like, ah, oh, yes, a uh, man. <laughs> Daddy, a granddaddy. Grand we found the true, the one true granddaddy. <laughs> it's the, it's the super daddy, the granddaddy. What is this? Guy Hello, I am the granddaddy. <laughs> Daddy. Fuck. <laughs> have we all uh, okay. said daddy now? I just want to make sure. Yes, we have all said daddy. I went to okay. work, nice. then went home. So you have no alibi. So no, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. What are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing... Do you know how many guns were just shot at me <laughs> in an attempted murder that happened right when you were back behind that door and then you came out and then also you had a cigarette? Were you ashing that on the floor? Someone's gonna have to <laughs> fucking vacuum that? You're an asshole, so that's what I've gathered from this. <laughs> I really like his voice, though. That's true. <laughs> But you sound like a silver I, granddad. I, I think all of these things are true. Yes, a a chain gun was fired inside this building, and I just, I just feel, feel like that. In fact, it's right him. there. You can see it. It's right there. I see the chain gun. I think I think there has been illegal activity. So if you want to leave, you're gonna have to step over the, the minigun. The minigun. Yes, no wrongdoing here. No, just let me step over. Uh... Alrighty. <laughs> gossip is better suited for tabloids. Uh, uh, about Rizu. Uh, yeah. The president of Lemniscate? We aren't friends. But I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Sejima. It's so Sejima, a member of Congress. I see him so often on TV. It feels like I've met him before. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess. I feel oh God, way. hi, uh, Momo. I'm a congressman. Oh, oh, okay, Momo, Momo you're so like short, that. Momo. <laughs> Momo is this little guy. He's so wide-eyed. He looks like the gangster from Danganronpa. A little bit. I mean, if he grew up. Yeah. <laughs> and was creepier and worse. Yeah. Uh, Shoko. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier. When I said I didn't know. <laughs> you, you lied? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? What? <laughs> You're telling me you lied to me. I cannot believe it. I, I feel know, shocked. I don't know if I can trust again after this moment. I thought, I thought we had a so. connection. Man. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. About Rohan. Oh, they. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah. What's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. 
Rohan was my older brother. He was my oh. big brother in this organization and my oh, wow. blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh, he got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. But we are... Oh, <laughs> we're, not, we're not a private eye. That is We're not true. a private yeah. eye. <laughs> yeah. Not Renju. I've been looking after that guy since high school. Interesting. It was the huh. usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Oh, damn. So he's, he's employing now. And he's been working with the Yakuza since high school. Holy yeah. hell, wow. Renju. Huh. What work I always you wanted to, to be a gangster. <laughs> well, uh, I was. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I always exactly was well. a gangster. I knew I wanted to be a gangster. Yeah, the usual. To be a gangster. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Okay. Do you have an alibi? Yeah, right. <laughs> occurs, our branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Damn. All right. Okay. Hmm. We done? About Shoko. Yeah. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid I... evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right, Jean. Those, those fight things are just totally insanity compared to all of it, because it kind of, like... Uh, devalues all of the rest of this conversation because it's like you tried to kill me yeah like you you tried to yeah, kill me there, though so you're going to jail yeah, uh, and yeah. that's that and there isn't more of this case anymore you tried to kill me yeah i'm gonna be real there's a reason i skipped them and it's not necessarily because like i don't find them funny it's because i i really feel like they wreck the rest of the story around them uh so i yeah, just they just break plot. yeah if you just pretend yeah. they don't happen the game moves completely fine without them all of them and you can get on with your life yeah yeah it definitely breaks the immersion i agree yep. what a weird yeah. thing for them to throw in okay. no idea I, mm -hmm. it, it's like they really really bugged me when i was playing through and then i realized i could skip them and then they never bugged me again <laughs> so i mean occasionally we could probably look at one or two of them but like yeah i don't know should we go to lemnis gate yeah moma congressman sejima i think i'm gonna call it a day i'll come back mm -hmm. soon We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Okay. Roger. Y'all tried to kill me. Yep. Oh, Apparently they don't God. care. Oh. Yeah, okay, that, I have a question. That is upsetting. Oh, that was yep. that was wild. Although we did get some useful information, I guess, or just rather like confirm this is all stuff. This really suspicious. Yeah. Is Dante uh, going to yeah. go over what we know real quick? I would like that. Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Oh, hi. Oh, she's there. Oh okay. my god, hey, Iba. What's up? Who are you? Hey, my awesome. sexy little shrimp. <laughs> How did a jellyfish get in here? So she's a shrimp. <gasps> too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? <laughs> me. Boss. Don't such an ass. Seriously. Then, are you? Is that Kagami? No. <laughs> I wanted him to say Kagami. I wanted him to say Kagami. So I really badly. wish he had said Kagami too. I really, really do. <laughs> it would have been a good joke. A dosage. Oh, well executed God. joke. Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? 
I just thought I would project myself. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the. I was just feeling cute process. today. <laughs> wanted you to see. Yeah. <laughs> I was really just feeling like myself. Being... <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me through Just wanted to be present. Only your lap. Guys, I did my hair today. Like I wanted you to see. <laughs> Who else can see? It's You're like the only of... one that can see me. It's turning Validate on your Zoom me, camera. Please. It's like yeah, I thought I got cute today. I don't care if nobody else yeah. on the Zoom call has their camera on. I'm gonna sit here. I like... showered this morning. Everyone, look at me. Like. <laughs> <sighs> You can't oh just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do she is your I eyeball. Do that all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> she your eye. Oh my god. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. Please. Uh, Dude, they are playing the synth uh, in these songs. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He's, he's fucking ripping that shit up back there. His fingers are flying. It's like weirdly non diatonic. It's so good. It is very good. It's I have so good. It's going like. <laughs> <laughs> I like the gong. Someone's just having a jam session. I yeah. composed this, this music. <laughs> Uh, I have a question. Do you guys yes. want to go through these questions with with Iba and then like take a quick break? Sure. Um, would you guys be down with doing that? Yeah. Since we're like sort of sure. in transition space here. Sure. Um, cool. You can keep asking. Mr. <laughs> currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. But 20 years ago, So Sajima lived elsewhere in the Kawasaki district, to be exact. He lived he in lived a castle. He was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. Interesting. The sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion mm -hmm. of the chemical plant. This caused 30 billion to is become a restricted area. Is what like 300 million something around there? 30. No, 30, 30 30 billion is yeah, would be 300 million. 300 yeah. million. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than 1/30th their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious to sell that yeah. amount of land just 6 months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, Sosajima purchased all of the land back for just 1 billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. That would be true. But there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Uh, oh? We will have to continue this conversation later. <sighs> I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that a HQ? Here. Yeah. Like our HQ? Yeah. Like, okay. Like, like, yeah. Like we're bosses. Like who we work yeah. for. Yeah. Okay, okay. What yeah. is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. <laughs> Whew. Oh, Who is this? thank Get you. Here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who he's a part of code name Kids Next Door. <laughs> Sorry, I God ruined that me. moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. shit. Oh, yeah, you know, news, Allison. Yeah. <laughs> you know it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. Holy hell. Okay. Ooh, this has okay. To be a prank. This has been a wild few too. days. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon before Renju was killed. In other Whoa. words, you're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah. I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Good luck. 
Huh. Do you think there's okay. anything to this? I don't know. Oh, we don't get the rest of that, any of that, huh? Oh, oh okay. But wow. we're going to Linda's Gate, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're going. All right, you want to take a quick fiver? Yeah, I think so. See you in a bit, then. We will see you in a sec, guys. Bye. Yep. Come on. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back <laughs> to AI Insomnium <laughs> Files. I have... I always like, whenever we bring it back in, Gina, right beforehand, you're always like, okay, I'm about to bring it back in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I just want to ease us back in. I just want to ease us back yeah. in. Oh, right. Hey there, and I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. We're back in it. <laughs> Get the energy. Yeah, exactly. That burst. You turn up your oh. gain by like nine percent. I'm gonna it's be all, honest. It's, it's so awesome. weird listening to myself on these streams as opposed to like when we're playing for the the channel because I feel like with the channel I am perpetually in a state where I'm sat so bar far deep in the couch that I'm muffled on all sides by pillows and like <laughs> I'm just I'm a, I'm a distant presence whereas here because I'm sitting in a desk chair I have to be right up in it I sound so loud <laughs> <laughs> so you know you know what I just recently got I got this contraption gizmo thing called a moon pod which is basically like a sexy expensive beanbag chair Ooh. but it's got like these like Ooh. little no. balls in it that basically like it completely forms to all of your curves which i have many of in quarantine <laughs> and i feel so supported when i sit in it it's so very good and so here i am at like my studio desk like in a ball in my swirly chair and i see my moon pod from afar and she's calling my name baby she wants to <laughs> that sounds like the life to touch her to hold her well now now see it sounds like she wants I, to touch I, you and hold you that's yeah. also true that's also true i want to be the one being held but that's always the case that's i funny love you, being held that, be the that's little funny spoon. you mentioned the moon pod <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny you mentioned the mood pond because I was also looking at like super sized beanbags on Amazon like a couple days ago, being like, what if, what if I okay. got an eight foot in diameter <clears throat> beanbag chair, couch, bed, and just let it swallow me whole? They're and really just... good. They're really, really, really good, is all I have to say. They are so much money and they are so good. You gotta live your best <laughs> so... life. Hey Corey, you need yeah, to sit especially still. now. Sweet, sweet thing, <laughs> darling. Your best life has to be inside. when my best life is living with my parents. <laughs> I really just hide in my moon pod, and I'm like, "Don't touch me." <laughs> I've agitated my cat. She's now very present and very awake. Oh damn! Oh, That's boy. always the worst when you wake them up this late. Oh, hey there, sweetie. Oh, you're just gonna. Oh, you're gonna fall asleep hugging my hand. <laughs> that's not. Oh, that's a good ideal. Deck. But you have to play this I game. Have to play this game. <laughs> We're gonna it's just go. Hand. It's the it's my left hand, which means I can't I can't coriander. <laughs> oh. We're just gonna try. We're gonna go. I believe oh. you. Do your best. Oh, oh great. Uh, this motherfucker. I hate What's this wrong? guy. <laughs> you look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I just found out online. A corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. It was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki yep. saw her own mom. But you didn't see your mom. I just left her. Yep. I hope you yep. feel guilty as fuck. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. Oh, you literally knew her without, oh, knowing she was uh, involved yeah. with Mizuki. That's crazy. Huh. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Ooh, we gotta I mean, talk, Bucko. I guess that's this fair. fucker. This guy, I, I guess so, but I this guy. This, he this also guy. just. He shouldn't have, like, fucking ran off when there was a dead body there to begin with. He shouldn't um, have gone. There's, a, he, to begin I, with. there's yeah. a lot of he shouldn't haves in this entire circumstance. Yeah. He's, he's right. this little boy. <laughs> Why is. They could have made him not 24. They could have totally made him 17, and then it would have been a little weird, but then, like, there would have been an age difference. We would have understood she's hanging with older people, but also it but wouldn't have been, would have been the same age every as time Iris. we think yeah. about it. The whole thing yeah. is weird. Which yeah. also makes sense. He could have been 17 and nothing would have changed, except he wouldn't be, like, a scary pedophile boy. Yep, you're right. 
I agree. <laughs> All of yeah. this, Corey, you gotta, Corey's gonna knock my dang mic <laughs> off my desk. Can we talk to the receptionist for a second? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> She still just boobs behind a desk. You're cute. Oh no, we can say something. Yay! You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. You're a kid. <laughs> Do you want to get some food Okay, sometime? you know, though, that oh, that voice actor... Awfully aggressive. That voice actor walked into the studio and immediately went... <laughs> <laughs> what a she great day. Her... Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, I, I'm trying to imagine what this voice actress is like, uh, like, uh audition tape was or <laughs> like their reel that they sent in. I just feel like they showed up and, and the the director was just like honestly have fun. Just have a good time. Whatever makes yes. you happy. Let's go. <laughs> I relate to this so hard because this is like how I like to show up for voice acting <laughs> roles too. Like when I have the chance. Deep, so I get it. I kinda like that. Oh my god! And I kind of like you. <laughs> wow. Oh, but there oh. is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. <laughs> what? Oh! No. 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 Is that going to be a no. problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be this, a problem. Is this like oh, the people who identify bad. as dragons? <laughs> It's like it's like what? a conspiracy, right? That like that like Mark Zuckerberg is a reptilian. It's like a it's like a whole oh is that yeah what it underground is? conspiracy thing. Um, That's what wait, I thought it was referencing. Ha, you to. also heard yeah. about the people who identify as dragons, yeah, those, though, right? Yes, 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 <laughs> absolutely. I'm so sorry. My cat is literally walking up one arm over my shoulders and down the other arm, and then just going in a circle, and I don't know how to deal with this <laughs> oh no oh my god where's iris yeah iris you mean asa she's recording a podcast in the underground studio if you need her right away i can try contacting her no it's fine this can wait until she's done can we talk more about this reptilian thing i really breathed over that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yep. when she asked a straightforward <laughs> question, she was like, hey, is that going to be a, a make or break thing? And he was like, yes, it will. And that was like, the end Yeah, of it, it will. Like, oh. Lovely talking to you. And so we part ways. Would you date a reptilian? <laughs> it's Oda. <laughs> it's Oda. It I know him. <laughs> I know him. I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious. This is his current body temperature. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Have you forgotten, Ota? Oh, sorry. You don't oh. want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, I... it's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. God, he's the worst boy. And his voice <laughs> actor's so good for him I... to be the worst yes garbage boy. Yes, and yes. I agree, yes. About Renju's case? Yeah. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? <laughs> we know if you're lying! <laughs> Someone you're, was with he's him. He's taking, like, a minute to respond, <laughs> too, so... <laughs> it has to play as the animation every time. No, it was, to, it was to show it wasn't a man. It was a woman. Um, yes. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Okay, look. <laughs> I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Tess has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. 
Okay, a savior? Yeah, what's that mean? First time I met her, blackmail me a I had a ago. bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Also, what he really wants to write is is bad tweets. I mean, <laughs> he definitely does write bad tweets. I mean, that's all we know about him. I, I'm also still convinced that the shit he's writing is just like smut like that's yeah. really <laughs> i have no evidence for that except I mean, I, I, the one thing help. i will say is i hope that's not the case because he does get mizuki to as a like a beta reader so i hope he just ah, yeah shit. i hope he just yeah. writes like light novels i hope yeah, yeah you know good point <laughs> then by hey. chance i found a video of tessa singing and dancing and it made me realize something important you don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your <laughs> best in what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something Imagine. all great creators need to have. Imagine if this dance is the thing that he's like, I've never been more inspired <laughs> in my entire life. Great art deserves great words to describe. And she's like, I'm just swaying. <laughs> she's just vibing. <laughs> fucking vibing, yo. After that, I became a huge This is not fan your best dance, Ace said you can do better than this. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely what does impossible. actually mean? Uh, it's like super fan. Yeah. Essentially. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down, I didn't say yeah. Iris was a murderer. Yeah. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. What? Do it for Iris. Uh, what time did Rinju and Iris hmm. leave the building? Yeah. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. Huh, okay. What happened? Oh? Oh, hi. Oh, oh she's back. hi! Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Uh, okay, she's just here. Oh, we're taking her downtown. Yeah, we're oh, taking whoa. her station. For questioning. Damn. She, okay, we got shot today by the Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> Good reminder. <laughs> and 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 she's the one that we take in for questioning. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Love that. Great to know our priorities are together. Good point. <laughs> Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not I mean, have to I say guess... anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. I mean, I guess she is the last one that was seen with Renju. So, yeah. from what we can tell yeah. with the timeline. It's like, for yeah. this case, she's the most relevant person right now. Um... The problem with the Yakuza and all of that is, like, for this case, that has no bearing. All we know is that they know of Rinju and Shoko, but not that they were involved in any physical way. Hmm. Do you have an alibi? Interesting. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. I have a thermograph. There Damn, her no mom's alone right now. Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. But with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris's story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... She took him back. Uh, can I ask your mother about your alibi? Yeah. I'll ask oh again. no, was her you mother sure maybe her lover? 8 p.m. yesterday? 
I mean, Ooh. right? Uh, That'd be yeah. a whole thing. Maybe he was overseeing her, her mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And her yes. mother's young, like single young mom. They made sure to let us know her mom was really mm -hmm. young. Yeah, she's like she's also like in her thirties or something. Yeah, which means yeah. that yeah, she like could be around the same age said. as Rinju, because we don't know. Yeah, we don't really maybe. know how old Rinju and um, Shoko are. But early thirties makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did yeah. mention that yesterday. Renju was mm -hmm. my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Yeah. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Um, is there a story true? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with Renju? What were you doing mm -hmm. with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there, but the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before, especially with important people being there. Do you think there's a chance that Iris is also... Renju's daughter. Uh, um, and just potential. really young. I mean, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Yeah. Since they've known each other since high school. Yeah. And... No, that's not. That's not. Oh, the worst theory. I there there'd have to be way more of that story that we need to find out. Yeah. I get where you're going with yep. it. Yeah. Um. That's sort of. Yep. What did you do after you turned him down? What did mm -hmm. you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Ogira at 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Ogira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. <laughs> Human memory what? is ambiguous. Thank you. Her use of exact <laughs> times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. She might have rehearsed this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, when did you find out Renju was killed? Yeah. Yeah. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record Boo, this morning, no. so <laughs> if I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Okay. You used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. About the surveillance hmm. camera? Yeah. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Oh, maybe she's not a killer, but she, maybe she's an accomplice. Yeah, uh -huh. she might know what's going on, which is yeah. why I think her mom is clearly involved in this. But, and, like, it seems like her responses are rehearsed. Am I a suspect? Possibly. Maybe Rinju like told her to say this stuff, too. Mm -hmm. We don't know how much Rinju knows about... Well, because it seems like Rinju was True. involved with setting up Shoko's murder, or at least his car was used and all of that, so, we like, we, don't, we just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine, huh. Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but... How do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okira nope. is a fully grown man. Oh, nope. She's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. You see. Eek. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we're looking for a sedate. Why do we just say, like, 
The autopsy discovered Whoa. a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. Yeah. This, <laughs> this drug has is like... commonly used as a sedative. Yeah? This has essence of Duncan Rampa to it as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. refer to your evidence. Yeah. And, and I guess Ace Attorney, back too. To Ace Attorney, yep. yeah. Yeah. All of the above. Um, <laughs> it is yes. likely that um, Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, wait. A heavy oh, okay. concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have Can we struggled. show four things? Huh? Can we show four things or just one? Just the, there's just the one slot. Just the one slot? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Yeah, it's the barrel. The, the, little, the, the keg. little kegs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the, the, oil the, drum. the oil drum. Not the oil no. drum. It's, um... Hmm. Oh, wait a sec. Or was it, is it Renju's weight? No. Well, because... But look at the oil drum. Yeah. The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. Empty. It weighs approximately 44 pounds. Okay, no. It's, um... Mm. Maybe... Renju's corpse was discovered at the maid cafe Sunfish Pocket, hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook okay, that was so embedded it's this one. inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. Okay, so yeah, clearly, yeah. clearly this one. Ingenuity. Yep. Yeah. It mm -hmm. went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his I'm Then sorry. all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage yeah. girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible. Even it's for a teenage girl. It's not that she girl. would. It's just not impossible. Like, that's yeah. the one problem with this line of thinking. It's just like, we can't say, oh, she's a teenage girl, so she can't do yeah, it. Yeah, because it, it's, mm -hmm. it's everything about how this was done so far could be done by pretty much anyone. Yeah. If they had access yeah. to all the things that they needed to have access to. Mm -hmm. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then... What do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm. I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? Okay. Where is her this lawyer? Is, I saw that comment. This is a crazy line of thinking to be doing, and she's just like, but stop, like... Uh, need support oh, team. now we can have we can have two pieces of evidence here, yeah. or like linked to the oil the oil drum and the elevator yep. record. Do you want to look at the at the elevator record first, or oh, are we good that with not, that? Is it not going? Uh, wait, did you? Yeah, click I X? did, and, it, and it, it's not me? it's not going in. Um, oh, so is that not the right choice? Which is weird because uh, I I think um, the whole deal is that it so. Between the oil mm. drum and Renju, that is 200 pounds, and we know the elevator held 300 pounds, and they earlier established that Iris weighs about 100 pounds because she's really light. Um, yeah. So, I guess um, we'll, I'll just have to look at him. The autopsy determined yeah. that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxing. However, oh, no trace so that of would this actually... was found on the corpse or at the... This means Sorry, that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Body. We already, we already did that this one. one. Renju's weight. Yep. I think it's this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Approximately 160. 
Wait, but how does that back up the other? Right, exactly. What look uh, look at the elevator record? Sunfish what did that say? is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. Only At 8.55 p.m., the total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. So 160 plus the kegs. How much are each keg again? I mean, the kegs could have already been there. I mean, they could. she could have put the body in the barrel and rolled oh, it. Oh, it's, it's this. It's the one. Yeah, oh, it's because really? it's, we're one step it's... ahead. We're one step ahead. First, we need to prove oh, that oh. Rinju was moved in the in the in the barrel. Then we have to prove that. Oh, okay. yeah, Just yeah. The Sorry, barrel. we're one step yeah. ahead. Barrel. It's fine. I still yep. you know what this is. That makes sense. It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date. I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you okay, Date. Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um, <laughs> who are you talking to? Hush. I think someone made her do it. That's my guess. Anyway, if she did it, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? I don't know if she did it. Where I just feel like she knows from? what's going on. If only you weighed more or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Mm. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. Record. All right. Yes, and wait. one. That makes sense. Yep. We need three pieces. We need two. I remember when they specifically said her weight. Yep. Yeah. Especially because yep. the, their whole comment was just how light she is. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. And then the oil drum. All right. Yeah. There we go. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Why are you... Mm. Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... Hmm. Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. What? Ahiba. Okay. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. I have a wow. Yep. Oh, 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 can we, can we she's zoom in on her around. or anything? Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks oh, like. She's, is but she we need texting? to confirm something before we confront Ooh. her. We need to know that she is in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Can you, can you jump to another camera or something? Yeah, that one? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah look in the reflection or something. This is, is she reading off a, a script? Nope. She's got her phone. I mean, she yeah. could be, but yeah. she, that, yeah. That's how I, like, could be reading off her phone or texting. Yeah. Or recording, I don't know, anything. Oh, That's really oh, foolish shit. to do that in the room with them. Like, Iris, what are you thinking? 
What is that thing? Hey, huh. answer me, Iris. That was Oda, right? Yeah. Something, daughter. Yeah. Oh shit! Sink with her. What? Oh. What? Really? Iris is experiencing Damn. REM sleep. All right. How about it? Wow, you? really? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. Yeah. Lawyers play she no consent role to this? in this world. Consent, consent not, doesn't either. So before oh my god. Consent or lawyers. Then, let's begin. This, I still get like major minority report vibes from all of this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Just like acting outside of the law essentially i, I don't <laughs> except in both minority report and this it is the law but it is the law also yeah exactly <laughs> oh shit yeah my theory is someone made her do it like she did it she committed the murder but was like i think someone was there the whole time making her do it what is this um, case it looks depressing. This is my theory. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Oh man. Somnium scan, activate. <laughs> we love anime. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes anime. <laughs> Sometimes anime. <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. This Whoa. alone doesn't look great. <laughs> Whoa, this does not look good. Nope. Nope. Four. She's struggling right now. She is. Holy shit. Sinking in the vein. All right, and there's this is another <laughs> branching place. Um Oh, it sure is. A couple of different options. Uh yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um <laughs> Um, okay. What we got here? Um, doors and a TV. I want to inspect the TV, yep. probably. There we go. Uh, a CRT yes. TV. It's the midnight Hit channel. Or spin the dial. Ah. <laughs> this, this text has a little bit of like a P4 vibes, too. This, like, yeah, a little bit. Well, this, like, wacky text. Spin the dial or hit, uh, spin the dial? What do you think? I would do, uh, yeah, let's spin uh, the dial. Like to find a channel? Yeah. Let's see. Oh! Oh, fuck. Stop! Please! Oh, shit! Oh shit! Cool, cool, cool. What is cool. this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. What? Whoa! Yeah! What is going on here? Iris, what are you hiding? We yeah. should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. What the fuck? Uh okay. So we branched. Yep, we saw the murder ah, shit, video. shit, we branched. As opposed to whatever Ooh. the other one was. Negative timey. You picked up a timey that has a negative effect. Negative timeys can multiply time or force you to use, uh, um, or force you to use them. If you pick one up, be careful. Um, I hate that they're called timeys. Yep. <laughs> I don't disagree. Okay, so we have a torso, we have a mirror, we have a gun. Um, Gina, can I ask you a question? Just for my own mind. I, I these things seem to be super varying. Is this going to be like a really long dungeon thingy? What do you mean? Or is this like is this I am just trying to gauge like time on how I don't know if this no, is like an hour this long is, this like this is probably like quest thing. like 25 minutes. That's okay. I guess okay. like 20 minutes. Yep. Yeah. Um uh the torso maybe? Okay. With a mirror? I don't know. There's so much. Torso it is. Holy shit. Um Okay. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? 
uh, a form. Uh, push, choke, hit. Ooh. Choke I don't, it. I, I don't like it. any of those. I, I would choke it. I guess choke it. No. Sorry, yeah, I already pressed it. it. I mean, it is related to the... I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't know how I feel about this. But... Uh... Well, well, the situation I mean, has changed. Look. Consciousness is being affected. Whoa. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Is that what happened? Yep. I'm tired of this. But we have no choice but to investigate. Oh, it was the right answer. Whoa. I guess. <laughs> okay, I guess so. Oh my God, we're just moving along. Yep. Okay. Wow. Uh, All right, what do we got? Three. We got operating table, TV, mirror, medicine bottle, gun. Medicine um, bottle. Medicine bottle? Medicine bottle? Okay. Let's yeah. do medicine bottle. Yeah, good call. A drug bottle Four that minutes. holds some kind of liquid. Four minutes, okay. Uh, we have the option to smell again. <laughs> oh, sniff it. You know I like to sniff. Well, I hate smell. that. I well, hate that. Yeah. <laughs> do it, do it, sniff it. It's got Snip a negative it. timey, it looks like, too. Yeah, get that negative timey for sniffing some good shit. Like sweet almonds. Syrup? Ooh, that's like think cyanide. It cake or something? If it isn't syrup, it's nitroglycerin. Why is that what? here? Oh, okay. Nitroglycerin reacts it's violently nice. upon light impact. It needs to Does be mixed to lower Does nitroglycerin lower smell like syrup? Or like almonds? Is that I like a know. thing? Because I thought cyanide It does. Cyanide, like cyanide definitely does. Um, I didn't know that nitroglycerin did. Huh. Mixed with what? Acetone. Acetone? It is best that we do not disturb this for now. Right. Okay, well we learned, okay. we learned something. We did. Uh, uh, mirror TV. We could do the mirror. Okay. Um, then, then I guess mirror. there's operating table. And it Look, shows punch, the talk. model. Punch it! Punch, punch it. it! Break that mirror. Are you sure yeah. I can break Get out all that rage. No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to? Pervert. Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Out of all the things he said, that was the least pervy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it won't break. What was the point of that? Cost oh, us a bunch okay. of well, time, so I actually might. Damn. Yeah. Uh, wait a sec. Okay. I'm gonna retry. Uh, what are you What are you thinking? I'm just gonna go back one. Okay, okay. that's yeah. fine. You, you can just uh, do that. Yep. Cool. Okay. That's yeah, good. we have three we have three shots, so you can test oh, nice. out the really expensive things. Um yeah. Uh so oh, okay. um, that over We already did the medicine uh, bottle. Uh that probably overwrote us doing the medicine bottle, but that doing the medicine bottle didn't immediately get us anything, so we might wanna So maybe let's go to gun. Okay. Or that yeah, or I was gonna say, or you go to the medicine bottle and drink it. A revolver. Yeah, that too. Is it real? It appears that way. I don't. Uh, I don't know if we can do it. It's high up. I'm not sure we can do it. It is. This. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe That's wait a second. Um, All right. Let's drink um, the medicine. Bottle. Okay. What are you thinking? Operating yeah, table. Yeah. Just to, to get that? enough. Get information about everything in the room. Operating table. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Perform surgery. Sleep. Investigate. Sleep I mean, I'd so love long. To perform a I mean, we can we can reduce sleep down to thirty if we want. Or you perform do surgery down to thirty. Like maybe we'd perform surgery on the on the mannequin, and reduce that down to thirty. I don't know. What do you think? Do we have access to the mannequin right now? Uh, it's I have on no the clue. floor. Yeah, it's just here. Um, Which one? Uh, perform uh, surgery and let's make it thirty. Yeah, okay. let's do that. Time will not. No wait. No. No. What? No. There we go. Uh, okay. Cool. There we what go. What do you intend I operate on? Can you just pretend to do it? Pretend to do it? Oh, they're not gonna like this. I don't know if this is the right answer. Yeah. Yeah. She always kind of questions it when we ask her to do weird stuff. This is definitely weird. Nothing's happening. How disappointing. Damn. Damn. Can we rewrite that one? To recreate itself or something. Perhaps you okay. should abandon that line of thinking. Okay, yeah, I can. I can All retry right, that end. one, um, but we're only gonna have one more, so just keep that in mind. But we're pretty deep into it, so it's probably okay. Okay, okay. so All perform right. surgery doesn't do anything. Smelling the bottle doesn't do anything. Um, 
Punching the mirror doesn't do yeah. anything. Uh, we can't really- we don't think we can reach the gun. But, I mean, maybe we could sleep on the operating table. Maybe we could- we Drink the bottle. Drink the- drink the bottle. We could do something. I don't um, remember what the other options were with the mirror. Yeah, I don't remember either. Um, but, I don't know. What are you guys- what are you guys thinking? My- my instinct is to drink the medicine bottle. Then let's drink yeah, the let's medicine. Do it. Yeah. A yeah. Bottle that holds uh, jug. Yeah, chug it. Let's try. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure you? Into drinking alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, uh, no. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. An AI labor union? <laughs> Damn it! Dystopia. <laughs> I won't drink it. Fine. Great. Okay. Oh, awesome. All right, a well, body. how about talk? Talk oh, yeah. to the mirror? Let's talk to it. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to save that spend, You want to spend some time on it? Can yeah. you talk? Can you talk? What? Ooh, don't whoa. Don't copy me. What? Don't copy me. Pervert. Date is a pervert. Pervert. Oh Date my god, she pervert. loves that shit. <laughs> oh my god. Pervert. And twice. <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, it Three did talk, though. Table. I guess we can sleep on the. That's so much time, it's though. So that's much all. Time. How about it's ten? But it's like, ten seconds. Make it ten seconds. Yeah, let's do it. This feels like the right choice. How does it feel? Awful. Am I going Maybe. to be killed? Modified? I'm restless. I can't take the suspense. Do you think they'll modify you into a grasshopper or a spider? That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, right, that did nothing. Damn it! Like the fuck? You suck. Oh my god, I was feeling so confident when we were like moving through so quickly. I mean, I guess there's the gun. We could, we could look. We could look. Do you want me to reset it one more um, time? Uh, we have one more reset? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Um. What about like the doors and stuff? Or the TV? Is there anything else to do uh, there? Th it didn't look like there was anything else to do with the TV. Yeah. Uh, is Old there a body mirror? Hmm. Oh, uh, there's another TV. Um. Oh, there is another the TV. Ha! Oh, I didn't realize that on television. Thank you, Homestead Hero. Turn the dial. Investigate. Hit. Hit. Uh, oh, I was gonna say turn the dial again. Oh, you, you want to turn the dial? Not, maybe it's not the same. But yeah, I you want to turn the dial. Let's see. Sure. Maybe we get another video, yep. is what I'm thinking. Yep. And this is outside, yeah. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, holy fuck. Okay, so there are two people here. See, there's someone murdering, and then there's someone well, and there's also supervising. The victim, but yes. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, three people. Cyclops sure, killer. yeah, yeah. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. Huh, the okay, we got some more stuff. And another torso have been added. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So, um, gas canister. Let's see here. Okay, here's the shelves. Uh, Shelf, gas, gas canister, canister, doors. Torso. Torso. Torso? You wanna try the new torso? Sure. Okay. A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. Punch, push, choke. Uh, uh, uh. You used to have worked maybe. before. But the first one was suffocated, so maybe it's punch this time? Maybe, yeah, maybe punch. Okay. I was thinking that too. I hope. I hope. It looks like time yep. passed again. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. Hit my soul hard enough. Yeah. That okay. was right. All right, that was good. A television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Let's hope you're right. Okay, then let's go look at the other TV. Beat to death. Yeah. Yeah. And you were right. It go. was replicating the way they were murdered. And yeah. Yeah. Shots. yeah. Uh, and then everything else is sort of like a red herring, I guess. Um, um okay, so okay. where's the, so... the new TV? Where's Hurry. the new TV? Shit. 
Uh, back corner. Uh, to your to your back left. I think that's it. Yeah. Where? Uh, yeah, uh, there turn it is. turn around and yeah, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> An old-fashioned TV. Turn the dial. Uh, yeah. Turn the, turn dial. the dial. Turn that dial. Okay, we're on to something. Yep. Now we gotta get the yeah, gun. Yeah, we need to figure out how to fire the gun. Jesus. Rough. So it's always the blue person committing the murder and the red person is watching. This yeah. was the third victim of yeah. the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris That means the red person that? might be, uh, um, Iris. I guess, but that means she was, she was there. I mean, there is a possibility she was there for all of them, yeah. Online or on TV. She even reproduced no, the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Yeah, I don't know. Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Okay. So final okay. shot. Uh, we have we're not reference book, gas canister, lockers. The gun. Uh, how can we how can we get the gun down? Um Let me look at the locker, maybe. Jump was an option. Yeah, you can look Just at the locker, the locker since it's a new thing. Open peak um, listen. Oh. Open? Open takes Open. a lot of time, but I would I would sink some of those into it, yeah. We could make it 15, yeah. Yeah. Ah! Whoa! Oh. oh, shit! Iba. And that gets the gun down. It's all right. I think so. More importantly. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a Rube Goldberg machine. This Great! This is silly. <laughs> now this is dream logic. Yes, I was just thinking that, like, this is, like, totally uh, a subconscious thing to do, I feel like. <laughs> Very dream logic. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this soundtrack sometimes has, like, that yell from Into the Spider-Verse. What does? That sound yeah. right there. It sounds like the Nightcrawler sound. Or not Nightcrawler, oh. whatever his name is. No, you're yeah, right. it does. You're right. <laughs> This is a little wacky. It's a long animation, <laughs> oh <my> too. <laughs> but this just means this is a really extensive mental lock. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, she put so many layers into shoving this down and hiding it away that all of this needed to be triggered in order to access this information. That's like, a good way of thinking about it, Allison. Yeah, she like super locked it up. Um, <laughs> Nitroglycerin! Nitroglycerin! Ah, uh, yes! That's why we didn't drink it. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. <laughs> and that killed the mirror. And that killed the, the, the one in the yep. mirror. Yep. All right. That is. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, we got a face. Mm hmm. Renju? Younger Renju? That's not who his, that face was. Come on. That's that's not that face, was it? No. It was too. No. Oh no! Was that our was that our boy? Was that our boy? Come on. Was that no. us? Was that? <sighs> was that Mr. Date Man? What mm. happened in that Somnium? Yep. We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means... The murders that mm -hmm. occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... Ew! <laughs> Fascinating. But then, ha -ha. that was Iris's mind. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. Right. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Yeah, you suck, boss. That's Help me bad. understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops mm -hmm. killer was... It can't be. Hey, we called it's it. It's impossible. That's yeah. Right. You cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. Exactly. Oh. So perhaps, Mr. Dante, you ha -ha! Are you're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. Well, I'm kidding. you can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Y'all gotta not. stop doing this kidding shit. Stop. No, everyone like, kids in anime. Killer? People love kidding in anime. <laughs> stop like, it. Like, come on. Uh, th and this line too. I wouldn't hire a serial killer. Like it, it's totally. They're just keeping them like. They're they're keeping a close eye on him. Like they're keeping him on a short leash. They're keeping him here. Like I just. <sighs> mm. You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. What about the original uh, Cyclops killing? The Cyclops yeah. killer appeared very... six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. Boss, there is isn't. Like, no? It's a coincidence. Really? Really. I don't believe you. I think you're a big old liar, You can't boss. dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. And was six involved years in ago, some way. Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Hmm. She was our, uh, our, our ride-along for our killings? Like, was just there? Yeah, maybe kind of like how we had a flashback when she was our ride-along earlier. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we did have a flat. Yeah, you're right, and we had a flashback with her earlier. Yeah, no, 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 um, we knew her. We had a special relationship with her. Yes. We just didn't know what it was. We don't remember it, yeah. I guess we can ask... Computer, all this stuff to you about the original and the new instance? I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be right so sure? Because he's right here in because this room. Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. I think that, yeah, because it's like, how could he have done it? He's been here the whole time. He's been investigating. There's no way that he could have killed them because we know where Date's been the whole time. Because we've been Date. So. Uh, uh, about the original. Oh, yeah, I saw earlier. I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. Okay. All That's right. Thanks, Peter. Okay. Yeah. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard of his memory. It. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. Uh, okay. Yeah. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can Keep be expressed him. as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. 
This, of course, means that Dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Okay. That's fascinating. Okay. Okay. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Yeah, brains Even make up memories, memories all the time. are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Brains are a whole fucking mess. Like, they are, they're kind of an absolute disaster. So, I don't know, piecing together anything from a brain, I feel like, is, I don't know, almost a, a moot point. But also... <sighs> We also are getting pertinent information from this. Also, I mean, it's clear Pewter and Boss, like, know what the fuck is going on. Like, and are, clear yeah, and are, and are not telling us. They're just deliberately like, keeping us in the dark for this, but then also, I don't know. I'm, to what I'm, end? I'm yeah. over their bullshit. I really am. I Like, to keep us in the dark at this point is to deliberately get in the way of this investigation. And then at that point, why are you getting yourselves involved? Yeah. And why are you going to be involved? Like, yeah. it's like Peter saying, like, I, I you're know. You're just being rude. <laughs> yeah. I know for 100% fact it's not the same killer, which seems to imply that, yeah, it's because Date was the original killer. He's here right now and didn't conduct these killings. Um, and I just, yeah, why are we here? Like, why? And, like, one, why are we here? Why, why not give us all of the pertinent information? Um, it seems like they can't. I, like I mean, they've been pretty. Okay. They've been incredibly clear about that. That that one thing they've been honest about, which is that they can't give us this information. That this goes way, yeah, this goes way above their. It heads. goes all the way. Yeah, it goes all the way that it's to the top yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. And that they're just like, I don't know. They're they're just pieces in that in whatever that all the way to the top plan is yeah. to keep original psychops killer Date here and working for this organization. If if that's what's going on. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, if that, yeah, that's true. If that's what's going on, um, and then, uh, uh, and then, um, uh, shit, uh, uh, Iris is in this in in some way as well. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> well, no matter what, yeah. Iris is clearly like she knows what was going on, so she she at least is an accomplice or aware of whatever the She's... Cyclops killer game is. The Date pass like portion of this who knows about yet yeah she's she's clearly but like we know a, she's involved she knows she, shit she's at least a witness to the like or or something related to the original murders and from the evidence we've gathered seems to be an accomplice or the like the one that executed the murderer uh for the new at least for um renju uh, at, at least we we have some suspicion. For yeah, that, now. that, that like, nothing's been pro nothing's been proven. So for all of these for things, sure. I would say we have evidence suggesting these things. But for instance, yeah. we came, we went into Iris's mind in order to prove that she did she was involved with um, killing Rinju, and we didn't get that. Right, that's true. All we have yeah. is circumstantial evidence, like the fact that she happens to weigh 105 pounds, and that she right. may or may not have been seen by Ota nearby. But obviously, she was she was conspiring with Ota under the counter. So we don't right. have definitive evidence. Obviously, it looks incredibly shady. I'm just saying, we're in a weird position right now where we have a lot of information. We know Iris knows something and a lot of somethings about the original Cyclops killings, but because of the way it's presented in Somnium, we don't know her involvement, how she got this information. She could have read a document. She could have, like, there's the right, problem. Right, she could have seen yeah. it on TV. She could have, like, made it up. Exactly, exactly. that's, that's kind of what, what Peter was suggesting is, like, the problem is, um, to your point, brains are messy. Yeah, exactly. Just being able yeah. to recreate that doesn't actually mean that we don't know we don't ultimately we just don't know right. what it means 
Which is a problem she, she because that means we're not going to be able to hold her probably because we don't have any evidence that she's done anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. like she could have she could have watched that on unsolved mysteries and and she had that in her exactly. head and thought like that that's how the events. She's went. a big my favorite um, murder fan and she just really was into yeah. this case. Like this is the issue <laughs> because even if even if she didn't have firsthand knowledge, knowledge is knowledge. So, right. with yeah. all that in mind, a- we're, in a, we're in a really weird place where that was a horrifying somnium. Right. That she trapped in there. She really buried it, though. I'll point that out again. Like, the remote gold room machine to get to it. Like, she super buried it. Yes, yeah, so. but yeah, she didn't, she didn't yeah. bury the knowledge of the murders. Just the experience uh, of them. Because we on the TV... Yeah. We watch the murders on the TV. It's more the second layer that was... That was hidden. True. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Hmm. Good point. Okay. Well, <laughs> this, <laughs> this feels game like, is so fascinating. This is fascinating because it 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 waffles between being so like very wacky and also just very heavy. Yeah, like the past like <laughs> you know? hour has been serious unsanctioned police work paired with like pretty creepy imagery and like a like a pretty serious serial killer story but we also did get fired at by yakuza using a, a minigun yeah that bullshit right. is yeah. a lot for me <laughs> oh, that's what crazy. sincerely i wanted to share one of those with you i'm gonna i'm just gonna skip the rest of them yeah that's, that's fair not, yeah that's totally I, fair. I just i think that it's a much better game without them um, but yeah. with all that in mind, I realize we keep ending in the the underground Somnia room, but I feel like we just found another branch path. Like where we're at right now yes. is hoorah, we found another Way branch. Way down there. Ah, uh, we sure cool. did. Yep. This does, yeah, this feels like a really good place to stop here for the night. Mm. Um, and yeah, I, whew. What, the, uh, the branch is interesting how it's branching out in that direction oh we'll have to look at this next yeah, time there's so much look at everyone's profiles wow right because we that's are fascinating we, we are we can uh, start next time by going through all this that's a great idea actually i yeah. like that idea um that could be a good like like recap Refresher. um yeah yeah as well as we just go through the files and read up on everybody mm. um yeah wow this is fascinating. This is a weird game, um, it's but a I weird kind of, game. I kind of really like it. I kind of really dig it. Yeah. Oh, I dig um, it a ton. Mm-hmm. I'm just so fascinated by where it's going. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely. And I can't wait um, to share more of it with you all. All right. Well, thank you guys in chat. Thank you everyone for being here. It's been so wonderful playing this game with you all. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. Mm-hmm. And rest of your week. See you yes. next time, folks. Bye, guys. Bye.